Ross there. It's the old Ragamuffin show. You don't know with my very good friend, living legend, you know. Tipper Irie in the building. Yes, Solo. How you doing, man? I'm very good, my brother. Really, yeah, really you, pushing on. Yeah, I can see the thing. The future is bright. <laughs> old, old Ragamuffin. Old Ragamuffin. Yeah. Well, let's say you're the original Ragamuffin anyway. Yeah. yeah, one of them, one of them, one of them. There's many of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's course. many of us, but That's yeah, right, coming from where I'm coming from, you know, the sound system, culture, you know what I mean? And yeah, Ragamuffin, you know, Ragamuffin girl. Done a tune, went to number one, I think 1989 with yeah. Peter Arningale. Yeah. So it's just a it's just a term we a use. Few, you had a few tunes though with, with, with Ragamuffin in it too. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. There's the the catalog is long. <laughs> For real. The catalogue is long. For real. It's long. Even, even, even when I was driving, I was thinking like tunes that tip for the dumb. And it's a yeah. whole heap of tune, man. The it's a lot. Is big, it's it? a lot. I mean, sometimes, I know if I was um, a rock artist, yeah. I'd probably be playing at Wembley Stadium yeah, or something, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. With the volume of, of music. And sometimes I don't even realise how much it is. It's only sometime on occasion then I, I go on YouTube or I'll, on disc, what's it called, discography yeah, or this. Yeah. And I think, wow, you tip, you done a lot of music, Listen, you know what I mean? Like, and sometimes it's easy to, um, well, actually, I shouldn't say it's easy. I think sometimes the way that we can be as artists, as UK reggae artists, can be portrayed or even promoted, yeah, yeah. can be belittled. Yeah, to definitely. What the, to what the actual stance is, you know? De well, this I is never it. Forget, sorry, just, I, yeah. I never forget, um, I come by you, come by the studio, and um, I see all the plaques on the wall. Yeah. And as I'm reading them, as I'm walking past the plaques, and I'm like, yeah. you know what? I tip what I read this, you know. Some yeah. people forget, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like I, it was I mean, like five years in a row, number one, number one, number one, number yeah, one and yeah, like yeah, top yeah. selling single for the yeah, year. Yeah, like yeah. Like in, in a row. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? yeah. No, they, they don't really. I mean, it, of late, because I've kind of um, kept a rein on some of the things that I'm doing now. You know what I mean? Because I kind of just want to just focus on working with my band and having my team of people. I've got my team of people, my regular team, my band. I call it Lockdown Band with, um, with Horseman and mm. Black Steel and Andre, Sean. Yeah. And then I've got Sarah on sax, you know, Sarah, yeah. um, Tobias. And, and sometimes I have Harry who plays with um, a funk band okay. um, that plays trombone okay. and sometimes I have um, Patrick Mattix yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so it's like really good musicians yes, you know what I mean and then you know I got Patrick from Progressive Sound yeah. who he's my engineer okay. so he does the front of house and if I don't have him I try to get Derek who works with Twinkle Brothers Derek okay, Frevier okay, 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 okay. he's a really really good front of house engineer Premier League thing. so I'm trying to do it that way and just try and keep it that way and then now just focus on that so i'm kind of cutting down on the pa thing yeah um but you know because i'm a sound man at heart yeah, yeah i yeah. do still like the the vibe of being around the sound okay okay and i do like playing music yeah, as course. well yeah, as yeah, yeah. and selecting tunes yeah. so but i'm gonna try and cut down on the pas and just do live shows with the band now and just kind of stick to that for a while and see how i get on like that as you said that now i'm trying to think now which way do I prefer listening to Tiff or Irie? Well, this is it. On a sound. Well, I did a show the other day mm. with in Butlins, and it just kind of brought it home to me that, you know what, man, I need to be doing this. You know, I need to be with my team, with my band, and just, you know, because I really enjoyed it. I think I'm really enjoying that more now than being uh, doing PAs or being around the sound. You know I think I mean? with a band, you know, don't you find that I find that when I'm with a band that um, one you bring the songs to life. Yes. I, I think I think you just get more mm. personality. I think you see more personality yeah. in the person. Yeah. And now that I'm thinking about, it, like I just say, I'm thinking, where do I prefer hearing Tiffa? Yeah. And you you with a band is a is a complete. It's another level. level yeah. Of, of, of performance. You know yeah, definitely. I mean? You got a um, you know. You can improvise yeah. more. There's more scope. Scope to do, to do stuff. You know I mean? So and plus, if you you know you know getting on now, 
So if you want to be want to rest, you could just say drum and bass. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you could say rhythm and just say guitar and just take a little walk over this and make like, my, give me a swallow. Give me a swallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and recover. You know what I mean? It's one of them ones. So, but away from that, I like. You know what I mean? I like the scope of um, being with your band and being able to improvise. No show is the same. Yeah. It's always different. I find with a PA, you know, it's probably still not the same, but, but it's more rigid. Is, is the yeah, same. it's, it's, it's more the same. Yeah, like but that. with a band, you, there's so much scope. And I like to interact with the audience yeah. and involve them in what's going on on stage. So, plus you've got five other people on the stage with you that with you're you. That's, interacting that's as well. That's right. And then so the different. audience is not just looking at you. No. They might be checking out the drummer. Yes, and sir. this girl over there might like the bass player. Yes, sir. And this brethren over there might like the saxophone player. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So it's, it's different, different elements and different things. So that's why, you know, I'm kind of just trying to focus on working with the band now. Um, but still, you know, I, I don't mind. I, I keep the, the bills coming in the bills yeah, paying we work innit we work yeah yeah we yeah work we're flexible we can, but yeah, well, flexible uh, yeah exactly you know but, but um, there's no not wrong with having a preference or trying to push a different thing you know yeah I learned so much the first time the first time I saw you with a band when I was looking at it from from a learning perspective yeah. as an artist because obviously yeah. I see you enough times before and them time yeah. I was just a just playing the sound and I was just um just a fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was just watching the show. Yeah. But I see you with a band we was in Russia, we was in Moscow. Okay. You yes. Remember the show here? Yes, 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 and, uh, yes. And, and you yes, I band, remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that sh and that band was I just met them like that, I don't that, know. That, that, and maybe that's my the point. Maybe the same day or the and day that's before. That's my point. Can and, you, let me tell you. I see, I, yeah. it's the first time I'm watching it from this kind of angle now. I said, let me see how Tiff deal with this band now. Because you already said to me, boy, you just met them. Like the sound check was the rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I remember that. And, yeah. and so you come, you come from the sound check and I was like, how you feel? And he was like, boy, could I better <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even think I'm going to yeah. do that tune there because they yeah. ain't really got it. So you yeah, take yeah, a yeah. tune off the list and red, red, red. But we saw it go tonight. So then when the show came, I was eager to watch the Sierra so, and yeah. I said, brother, this man... This man was a conductor. Yeah. I yeah. learned a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, the man was yeah. like, nah, nah, and he just had the band under control and it yeah. was a good show. It's experience. I mean, it's I mean it's all down to experience, but you but this is what I'm saying, is like it's they still have to be competent yes, sir. to hold of course. hold the, the tune together. Yeah. And then sometimes if you know, because I that's why I kinda like using my team. Yeah. Because it's just it's how it's supposed to sound. And then when you're hearing another band and they're playing and it's like... <sighs> it sounds different. <laughs> it, just, it, it, that, it's not, it, does, it doesn't give you that feel. But when you... There's nothing like being backstage and you know you've got your team yeah. and everything's in place. And you know when you say A, they're going to go A. They're going to say B, they're going to say B. They're going to be... Everything's like... You know, that's why when you look at certain artists, you know, the they show's tight. Yeah. You know, if you go and watch Taurus Riley, his band is tight. Yeah. Because they... They know they, the team. They know they the know team the inside out. The so it's much. like, you know, it's, it's tight. Yeah. And that's what I like. But sometimes, you know, you know, you promoters, they can't afford the budget or mm. this and that. And then as you as an artist, you think, hmm, should I compromise myself? But then sometimes you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you throw yourself in the deep end, but that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to throw yourself in the deep end and, um, and, and see how it pans out. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but the main thing is you have to, you have to lead the ship. And if, if the drum and bass is good, then work with the drum and bass. Yes, sir. I make the rhythm section just cool. Shut up. Yeah. And then if the rhythm, if the keyboard man are gone, and then, then you just work with the piano. Yes, sir. And make them not just chill for a minute, yes, you know what I mean? And then you work, you know, and then you work with them and, you know, because I went to see your show the other day and you got yeah. a Premier League band, yeah. <laughs> know you know what I mean? Music, yeah. yeah, very, very good. So it's like, yeah, I, I prefer to have quality musicians, them that know their stuff, that you don't really have to tell them. They know when, if you say dub, they know exactly what they you're, know talking, what you're about. talking about. They got to break it down nah. and go through the translation process. Yeah, no, nah, it's just you know? that way. So, you know? Yeah, mm. I hear that still. Yeah, mm. I hear that. 
But like, um, I was going to say to you now, the same thing what, what we're just saying about mm. <clears throat> how maybe a UK reggae artist is promoting or yeah. foreseen, you know, like, like yeah. Little, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I believe that if you, let's say, let's say Tipper Irie was a hip-hop artist. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your, yeah. your, your the CV, that, yeah, CV yeah. yeah, I think you would be yeah. held in a, yeah, in yeah, a higher yeah. regard. Well, well, the thing is, you know, when, when you're saying that and, you know, things just come into my mind because I've been on shows, you know, um, with artists from the Caribbean, yeah. you know, and because, you know, we're not seen on this level as maybe some of the artists from the Caribbean, then we see you and, you know, it's like them not really want to say nothing to you because who are you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. But then when you go on stage now yeah. and you flatten the whole place, their whole exterior, or oh, I don't know if that's the word, mm -hmm. changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a different... It's like, oh, okay. Oh, are you near me? Are you near me? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, are you? Yeah, it's you. <laughs> You sing that you song. Sing, yeah, and, and, and a lot of the time, you know, I've been to Reggae Jam a couple of times, it happened. They know why I know. But then you go up on the stage and you flatten the whole festival and then all of a sudden then, you know, and one time I went to Kim's Day and Busy Signal was on the show and a few other people was on the show. And it, there's an artist in Germany called, Gen, uh, not Gentleman, um, what's his name? Ganja Man. Okay. Nice brother. In fact, he done the video. He, he made the video for "Stick to My Roots." Okay, okay. Yeah, he's okay. a very talented brother. Okay. He's a wicked DJ as well, but he's a good, you know, artist yeah. from Germany. And he got ill, so he, I I was working with the Far East band. So the drummer from the band he called me said, "Tip, what are you doing? Yeah. You free on this day?" I said, "Yeah, man, I do that for you. No problem." Yeah, you know what I mean. And then so it was Kim's Air Festival. So went to the festival now, you know. And the band, I had one day rehearsal yeah. with the band the day before the show. Yeah. And then, you know, so when, I, when the band set up and everything, there was a nice crowd, crowd out there. But, you know, the, the back, on the stage was just me and the band. Yeah. There was nobody from the backstage of the festival. None of no, them. No, no, nobody was no there. Production, no production. No, nobody. It was just me and the band yeah. and the front of engineer. Yeah. Nobody from production. No, none of the artists. Nobody because it's just a little English youth. Them yeah, yeah, where yeah. artists were there on the stage. But you see, by the second tune, you know, me I sing and me have the whole. Me have the ten thousand people in at the pub by me and yeah, and mm. and they're going off. Yeah, yeah. And then I look round, and you don't like when you look round, and you think, "Wow, where everybody where, come where, from? Where, where these people <laughs> come from?" You know what I mean? But it just goes to show, and it's like even when you, you know, I went to Reggae Jam, and I did it the other day with with Horseman and Daddy Freddy, you know, and and we flattened the place, you know what I mean? And none of the journalists them they weren't paying us no mind. They weren't paying us no mind until after we flattened the place. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, everybody wants but to why? do it. I don't understand but this why is, you have to yeah. prove yourself well, every day. Week this, after week, you have to go and prove yourself. I don't well, understand this is what why. I'm saying. I don't, I don't get it. But to me, you know me, you know I'm like so a lot. I can't be out. I just, I just do my thing. I'm, I'm in a good place because of the music. It's the music that's put me in the mm. place where I am now. Yes, sir, yes, and sir. I understand where you're coming from. In regards to it's not to, fair. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, not yeah. Right. I know, I know, yeah. And, and yeah, I, I, I know you're in a very good place, and I love that. And yeah, you're positive in everything. I, I got to try to be positive. Yeah, but, but you're you right. Know, but you're right. You, I don't see yeah. why somebody yeah. of your caliber, yeah, um, has to prove themselves week yeah. in, week out. Week out yeah, we're yeah. talking about people, you know, people who influence reggae music on a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand me? Yeah, because from them time there. From them time there, from them Saxons day there, coming yeah. on fire, yeah. whatever like that, yeah. before them time there, yeah. th that English style of DJing influenced the Jamaican style. Yeah, because they started to follow. They started to, it started to, if you listen to, you know, people like Johnny Osborne, they'll say words like Lickwood and, you know, Junior Reed and Gina Reed would be chatting the fast style, pinchers. Ma we are ma so ma so hello honey hello we influenced them yes, you know what I mean you know I was 
be on the side of the stage and yellow man are good to have the feeling you know the bed yeah. and yellow man singing my lyrics them and i was in the audience and i'm standing there and, and pinchers is singing my style and he see me there and him check himself and him and him change and he switch you know so i've been in them so we've you know the saxon thing especially really changed the thing and we don't get the credit no and for and, and, what and, we did and, 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 that o- time. and always and, and it's always been built that, that that the UK artist is here. Yeah. While other artists is there, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. that's never been the case for me. Yeah. Because um maybe production wise, in, yeah, in recording, yeah. yeah? yeah but yeah. but them time if you're competing against yeah. against Green Sea with Junjo Laws and yeah. scientists, you know what I mean? Yeah, then there's yeah. gonna be that. Yeah, yeah. But as far as skill and talent. Mm. Them tiny man, you, you, you know, was clashing with everybody. You yeah. were going to clash with Papa Sun. Tan, yeah, you were going to yeah, clash yeah, with yeah. Tonto Irie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rare, you know Johnny I mean? Ringo, Tyan, you know. And, and stood up to all and, of them. And if you think about it, you know, it's like, it's like people like Professor Nuts and them man there. It's like, for me, Nuts is my favourite DJ. Okay. Just because of how he puts it, the just humor and the way how he puts his lyrics together. He not Stan, Stan and Stitchy, I like that, them, them era, because they can remind us of us. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how they are. And it's just, you know, the people, them, they don't really give us the credit, like somebody like Papa Levi, for instance, yeah. Maccabee. Yeah. You know, I mean, to me, Maccabee is probably the best lyricist, yeah. the best. Mm. In my opinion, he's probably the best mm. lyricist. Everybody's got their DJ. Yeah. Some people say I'm the best. Some mm. people say Levi's the best. Mm. Some there's somebody out there that mm. will say, you lot ain't better than Solo Banton. Mm. Everybody, every audience has got their thing. But do. in my opinion, you know what I mean? As a lyricist, yeah. you know, I don't care who you are from Jamaica. You can't write better lyrics than Maccabee. <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, you're, you're, and you're going to struggle to write better lyrics than Papa Levi. Yes, sir. You're going to struggle. Yeah. So, and them brothers still don't get the accolades. Sometimes they don't want it because I don't want an MBE and an OBE and all these things. I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what but I mean? It's not even about those titles. No, though, but it's just no. more like... The, the, the credit within the, the, credit within, 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 within the industry. Within the history, in, in industry. The, and the history. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's what confuses me and, and even annoys yeah. me still, you know? Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. I see UK reggae now. Well, you know, it's, it's there, isn't it? It's like you've got different sections of it. Yeah. And it's still, um, you've got, I guess you've still got like the root section. Yeah. The, which, which is the Jashaka, yeah. the Abashanti. Mm-hmm. The Channel One, the Irish and Steppers. Mm. So you have that scene there, which is a different scene from the Lovers Rock scene, yeah. where you have the Janet Keir, mm. the Carol Thompson, the Peter Honing Gale, mm. the Peter Spence, mm. and that's another side to it. Then you have, you know, I guess you could call it, I don't know, like the Mongols, hi fi, mm. that kind of scene with dub smugglers and mm. it's like a hybrid kind hybrid of kind of digital yeah. scene mm. and then you've got people like myself yourself mm. Maccabee um, so there's different elements to it so I guess there's you know there's different pockets I get worried about I get worried about who's coming next well if you look at people you know I guess you would still say like YT Mr. Williams, mm-hmm. um, Charlie P, yeah. well, I don't know, all these, you know, they're still a little younger, not mm-hmm. much younger. Mm-hmm. I don't think Whitey's that young. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's still man like that out there. But then I hear what you're saying when you're, you're talking about the actual, because I, I guess the youths, them that are growing up, they're not really into, they might be into it. So a few might be into it, but they're not really doing it. They're not it. really into it. And it's think, like, you know, know, you've got people like, I don't know, Alicia Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a, lo- a, a kind of a vocalist, but, she, I've, you know, that's, that's coming up. Then there's this other girl. Um, what's her name? I saw her the other day. She was actually on the show that I did in Reading. 
Um, it begins with T Tika. Tashida. Yeah, Tashida, like, Tashida Makaya. Makaya. Yeah, yeah, I like her. Yeah, yeah she's she good, got man. a spirit. I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. she needs some of her own songs. Material and that. But material, yeah. but I like her spirit. Material is good. Uh, yeah. yeah so Alicia's like well, young, right? yeah, the young artists coming up. There's um, you know, I but yeah, but I, them, but I feel when I say I feel sorry for them, I don't mean it yeah. condescending, but I mean yeah. Like, I don't think they've come through the training, come through the, the training, training. training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they could be, yeah. they could be missing certain qualities or certain yeah. talents. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think anybody, I say anybody, anybody can write a song or write a lyrics and be on the rhythm. You know? Yeah. But can you entertain a crowd when there's no music playing? Yeah. Do you know what to say in between? Tweet, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't know if anyone's get, really getting, getting that, that school, We learn that schooling. Schooling, there, schooling you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, from that, the sound system. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. I don't know if that schooling is. Correct. Yeah, but there's not that many, you know, because I listen to a lot of the young, some of the, the young youths, them. I don't know how much is actually that were born in Britain that are taking up the baton. Mm like what we're doing mm -hmm. because obviously they're born and they're going into the grime and drill and mm -hmm. and you know all this and hip-hop and all this other genre it's not really reggae yeah you know what i mean so i i might worry too <laughs> you know what i mean but i i, I don't i don't i don't really know what to say about that really yeah. if i be honest yeah. because there's not many people that name that springs to mind to say that's a young british Reggae artist, then, if you like. But maybe I we don't know. Maybe, may, may, maybe um, we have to be honest in saying that that, that kind of era that, that we gone. grew up in is gone. It's gone. It's yeah. Like yeah. I mean, there's many sounds out there that um that are starting. That there's new sounds that are starting, and there's sounds that that will have a mic man and they put the version on and let him DJ and stuff like that. But it's still not exactly the same. Yeah. And I, the reason why I say that is I think that the the sound is always they're always in charge and not the mic man. Yeah. Like the selector is in charge, yeah. you know. But yeah, the yeah, white yeah. man still, there had to be a combination. So yeah, the yeah, yeah. Said, so if the white man turned around and said, wait, I want yeah, to yeah. talk to the crowd, crowd the selector yeah, would wait. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Whereas I find, not for the money nowadays, nowadays yeah, no, yeah. they're doing their thing. thing. And you've got to roll, roll with that with program. Them. No. Well, this is where it goes back to being the conductor. Yes, sir. If I'm on the mic, me, me I steer the ship. Your, you, the selector has to obviously play good music because the, the people come to hear the music. And then if you're playing the part two, then that's where I step in mm -hmm. and do my thing. But the, ma the master of ceremony, that's what his name is, is the master of ceremony. Yes, sir. So it's for you to, to lead, to steer the ship, just yes, like sir. I'm steering my band. Yes, sir. Whether the, if you're the selector, then you're still the band. Yeah. So I still have to steer you. <laughs> it's your uh, tune. It's Play my that tune by all means. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But let but me present it. Present to the people. it. Let me try the, and get the, a, that's a, right. A, 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 a that's right. Because I'm here oh. too. Yeah. And I'm the main part of it is you know it's the sound, the music, the performer. Yes, sir. That's how it used to be. And if you want to be come into the culture, you have to respect the culture yes, and respect the people. Them. It's a respecting and it? it's respecting who you're working with yeah, because the both of you are supposed to be there to achieve one goal. It's teamwork, isn't it? Yeah, it's teamwork. It's yeah, teamwork, to entertain the people them. And that's what it, it's about. But man, sometimes man, they, they're not looking people, at teamwork. Yeah, it's I mean, ego. It's, that's just yeah, ego. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. there's, there's a lot of selectors or so-called DJs or people that, think they know about sound because they've built a little, they've got some equipment and they've got a few tunes and they go out there and they push their music on onto people. But you see, sometimes it's like, if you invite me on your sound, mm. then you have to respect my heritage yeah. and respect my catalog. Yeah. You know, because if you, if say if Mongols or somebody like that invites me to come and play, yeah. yeah I respect that you've got your tunes yeah. and you want to play your tunes, yeah. but you've got to also respect that I've got 35 years of music. Yeah. And because you've put me on the flyer, there's going to be some people that's, that's coming gonna, there gonna wanna that want to hear my, some of my tunes. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So you have to respect my tunes and like me, I respect where you are. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And, and that's just how it is. And I'm, I just tell it how it is, you know what I mean, in regards to music. And that's why some of the sounds, them, 
I work with it. If anybody calls me to do work and, I, and I'm free and I can do the work, I do it. But, but we have to discuss how this, this how it's going to go, like gonna go down. Yeah, 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 for real. You know what I mean? For because it, it don't make sense me being up there and I'm not happy. Because when you're on stage, people can see and can feel if the vibes is not right. Yes, sir. And if, when you're on stage as a performer, you got to be happy. you got to yeah, feel man. good about... And so that's you, why you want people on stage around you, you that, 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 that make you feel that way? That's right. So, and you got to have that, you know, you, you know they got to respect that. Yeah. Everybody's got to have respect, mutual respect for each other and each other's talent. And it's like that. You see that with some of the festivals too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they want to come and give you chump change. And then give a next man that's not doing anything different, really, and maybe not even pulling, you know, the same amount. Because I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, I've seen them give thousands of pounds to a particular artist. Yeah. And then I know there's another artist, Sister Nancy, for instance. Yeah. Because when I saw her at Boomtown. Remember. Right? The, the yeah foundation member me tell you the place, you, the place. <laughs> Cock. for sister nancy yeah and me can guarantee you the artists they were them spend and give x amount of thousands to they never pulled nowhere near what that woman pulled yeah for real where the youths them actually went there to see her for real. me know that the she predates that artist probably got I me mean, not call no name but you probably know who me i talk about mm. Um, got you know, so this is what I'm saying. It's a level they sometimes they feel they're clued up or they but they're not really clued up, it's the respecting. It's true though, because she, she drew a crowd, that she day. drew a crowd. a crowd. I mean, no, I said there's artists there that they probably paid her, paid them three, four times as much as they paid Sister Nancy. See, I was gonna say double, but <laughs> three, yeah, four probably, times. probably three, two, probably double, yeah. three, two times, whatever. But that's but this is what I'm trying to say. So that's why with me now, I'm I give thanks because you know if you don't want to book me, cool man, because I gotta do my own things. Yeah, yeah, it's all love, same way. Yeah, it's all love. You know what I mean? All love, same way. You see, yeah. you know. So let me ask you a question then. Mm. I already got, I've already got my answer to this. Yeah, but let me yeah. see what you say. Yeah. You as an artist, yeah. if you had to define yourself as a footballer, yeah, a physician, yeah. You don't have to be an individual, but a position. What yeah. would you say you was? Ah, oh, centre forward. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, striker. Exactly uh, what yeah. I would have said. Man. In my profession, I think, <laughs> like yeah. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You got to be the centre forward, ain't it? The man that scores the goals that you know at, be at the end, you know, because I just put in the work, you know. And there's a saying. What's the saying again? According to your work, you shall get paid. So if you put in the, the work and put in the time, you know, things come back. Yes, and sir. sometimes when you don't even expect it, there's tunes that I've done. I did a tune called Angry with the Bug the other day, and I think HBO just take it up for one of their series. You know what I mean? And it's a tune I've done how much years ago? Okay. And they've just taken it up. For one of their for one of, for one of their um, series, okay, so okay, it's just okay. a one-off thing. Yeah. But it's it's what I'm saying. You know, there's, you put in, you do things, and then good and then things come. good things come. So you know, you, I find, you know, I found out the other day. I was watching the um, the Arsenal fan TV. Yeah, while he was on there, you know. Yeah. I don't want to go too much in a football. football. I'm struggling right now. You're struggling. Yeah, so far. I notice you're quiet still, you know. I notice when it come to when it come to football. I notice the whole I want to guard missing. I notice you, Daddy Ernie, John Dub Vendor, Maxi Priest. You see how I me notice all of the ask the, the man you man them chemists, right? Because and Orlando Gittens, if you watch this, Orlando. Me I wonder why you know so quiet. <laughs> You know, but me know why no, because Ali left, Ali leg of the wheel. Them say Ali, Ali's at the wheel. <laughs> but, but, uh, but the wheel's gone. The wheel gone up on you, yeah, no. Well, but anyway, just, what was you going to say? I you don't struggle. know you got me on that now, man. It's a struggle right now. Huh? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah after, yeah, yeah, after <laughs> that TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, man. We know them right now. It's we know we just but got. We're both we, nearly we, in the same boat. Yeah, but we your, just your we got we, yeah, than we, mine. we got to just face it now. Yeah, man, you had their time. And then we had a little time. You make it sound like he's not coming back in. Okay, so I really know what you're saying. Man, you, man, you had their time, chemist, yeah. And then Arsenal had a little time, and then Chelsea come and take up the rain, and then of late Man City come and take up the rain, and now we just got all the hands up. It's Liverpool's time now. Like it's Liverpool's it's time. Like Liverpool the, time they, right? They've taken up the rain. And they, they're going to win the title this year. They're 16 points clear. You know what I mean? So I can't see... And they still they, they still got a possibility of winning the Champions League. They, got, they might win the league. But I, I just don't want them to go unbeaten for the whole season. Because yeah, that's, that's the only I'm little life yeah. thing that we've got. Yeah. But anyway, Arsenal fan TV. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I, you pause it up and I say, yeah, let me watch Tiffer on this thing. I like yeah. when you talk about football. So yeah, 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 yeah. Even if it is Arsenal, I like when yeah, you yeah, talk yeah. about football. And... Um, yeah, I realised on that, that yeah. I didn't I don't think I knew that before, that you done a football song. Yeah, 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 yeah. 93, 94, me and Peter Huntingale, we yeah. done um Arsenal won the is FA he, Cup. Is he a gooner as well? Yeah, uh Peter, I think he is, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not that he's a the armchair gooner though. He's an okay, armchair okay, gooner. Okay. Nah, I go to the game then. Okay, okay. Me's a man who go, I go yeah, to the yeah, game. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. there, I go down there and check them out, you know what I mean? But okay. Yeah, 93, 94, um, this guy called Fred, I think his name was Fred, but he checked me, he said, Tip, man, Arsenal's going to do the double, man. Why don't you do a football song? So I just went and checked Peter, and because obviously, you know, I know Ian Wright a little bit. Yeah. Kevin Campbell actually more okay, okay. than Wrighty. Okay. You know what I mean? Because Kevin was a local man. Okay. You know what I mean? Even Andy Cole used to have a, I think his missus used to live on Stratleaving Road off at Acre Lane. Okay. So I used to see him from time to time as yeah, well. Sure. But um, yeah, so he just said to me, so I said, you know what, cha, let me go. So I linked Peter and I just put it together, wrote the lyrics them. Peter sang the hook. I know, and you know, shouting for the Gunners, going to win the cup. And then um, Pete Tong took yeah. it from London Records. Okay. And they put it out. So all he done was send it to all the Arsenal fans that were DJs, like George K, okay. Jigs from, um, there was on Choice FM, yeah. and this another guy that was on Kiss. And then they started to play the tune, because obviously Arsenal was, was in the cup finals mm -hmm. and whatever. And then it came out, he got in the charts, man. He got in the charts, but... Um, just George Graham, you know what I mean? That brother Rasta. If he didn't let if he didn't let the team come on top of the pops, we we would have went up the charts to at least top ten. Yeah, of course he would have. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't for some was reason. There, was there a video? Yeah, I think there is. I think there is somewhere. Uh, somewhere I, I haven't seen it for ages. But okay. Ian Wright's in the video. Okay. Tony Adams, the whole oh, lot of them. Yeah, we made a video. Definitely, I remember. So what's the point of him letting them do the video and then not letting them I go, have go on top no of the I have no idea, man. But the, it's their prerogative, isn't it? You know, but London Records put it out, Pete Tong. Yeah, and yeah, 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 done all right. And he made a little drink out of it. And yeah, it was big good. Label, though. London Records was a big label then. Like that time, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Pete Tong still was still on Radio 1 and E, I yeah, think. Yeah. And um, he's, he's doing some orchestra thing now, similar yeah, to the yeah, thing yeah. that Rodigan done. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only when I watched that there. That's you like, realise? I, I didn't even realise that before. That's another yeah. tune I had in the charts, man. This is another... You had a few, though, uh, innit? Yeah, well, you know, you Hello Darling was the first one, and yeah. then the um, football tune. Complete Name was in Nah, those were just, you know, top 10 in the reggae. Complete Name was just top 10 in the reggae charts. Okay, I just, think man, Tipper Iria... Top Aria. 10 in the reggae charts. <laughs> <laughs> Tipper That's what I'm saying, man, ain't listening to the calibre of them people there. What yeah. am I going to say to you? No, that was just top 10 in the reggae chart. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's Calibre, isn't it? Sorry, go on, go on. Yeah, no, I think Tipper Irie and the Colonel, the tune that I've done with Daddy Colonel, yeah. that went to number two, I think, in the reggae charts. And then, um, obviously, I had Ragamuffin Girl yeah. with Pete Arning Girl. That went to eight. That was number one. Yeah. Stress with Lloyd Brown. That was number one. Beach. Superwoman with Winsome. Beach. That was number one as well. And then It's a Love Thing, done all right with Lloyd Brown. Yeah. It's a Love Thing, I don't yeah. know if you remember yeah, that yeah, tune. Yeah, that, that did all right. And Baby, I've Been Missing You, another little cover that I did with Janet Lee Davis. Yeah. That did all right as well. Yeah, man. So there was a few of them tune, but in the pop charts, it's just Black Eyed Peas, yeah. Hey Mama, yeah. Hello Darling, and, and the football song. Okay. 
those tunes actually went into the pop charts. Right. The others then were just outside of the I top forty. I thought that complaint neighbor was was, was nah. Okay. Police officer. It was after police officer, innit? Yeah, so, yeah. Same kind of era. So people get them confused sometimes, but nah. He, he didn't. He just done well in the reggae charts okay, in okay, the UK. Okay. You know what I mean. But I was at green sleeve be, behind me at that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there's another bunch of weirdos, man. <laughs> green sleeves, man. Like the UK bubblers thing. Yeah, it was just like the guy Chris Cracknell. What a what an arsehole, man. Oh, for real? Yeah, he, he turned out to be an arsehole. You know, I don't. I, no, yeah, he's he's like I don't care no more. You know what <laughs> I mean? I just say it how it is. He's an arsehole, you know what I mean? Because he had so much talented people, you know. It's like people like reggae regulars. Yeah. Where is Ja? Yeah. And all of them choose. Yeah, Remember Patrick Donegan and all of them progressive sound. Patrick was producing all of them things. And then, you know, you had Lindell Lewis that produced Hello Darling and, and, and Holy. But, you know, so much talent you know deborah glasgow yeah, he, he, he he done a little investment in deborah and sent her to jamaica and that's when she done the uh, uh, album lover your them. champion lover and okay. them tunes then she had songwriters and whatever but the way how he but they were just very um typical just cold when it comes to the artists because remember before me it was clint eastwood and general saint yeah. you know what i mean and then when we came along, they just put them to the wayside. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the Saxon era came in. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we, that, we, get, we, that, that, we get moved to the we we're side and then it's Mr. Vegas come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then they, them get moved to the we side and then Shaggy come in. Uh, they were probably around the same time. They had Carolina and whatever. And then after that, is the, then, then the Vibes Cartel era came and all, and all of that and so on and so on and so on. But they didn't really build artists yeah, for... Yeah, they don't come across like they're bit, they're, nah, they're they didn't build... Nah, they didn't build... Yeah, like, they, they, it's just like... Hang off who, the coattails and yeah, take off who's, the whoever's flavour... At the moment, at the time, it would jump on them and grab, know, grab who, a quick change. Yeah, and who, and, 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 then go on and who did they there? We no business with them, no, cause yeah. this are the new thing. So yeah. make we just move, you know. But I guess it's business to them, and you know? it's just ruthless business. But for me, all me see is also because you know tunes like um, "Where Is Ja?" Them times they reg regulars and them Come they were on, killing man. it. Ja love and them, ja love and them tune there. Yeah. They were killing it. And the band, you know, obviously you have, you know, bands. Bands are difficult because mm. you've got different, different personalities mm. and this man, you know, I talk to this man, that man, this and that. It's like sound systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like a lot of the sound systems is a similar kind of thing. But with Green Sleeves, Chris, Chris Cedric, he was a cool guy. He, he, Chris Cedric dealt with the business. Okay. You know what I mean? He did with all the, the admin stuff and, and whatever. He came to my wedding. Okay. He was cool. Yes, but Chris Cracknell, I sang at his wedding. But when I was getting married, he didn't come. That says it all, didn't it? So that just kind of tells you <laughs> what kind of person he is. Kind of you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, Missy, tip, oh, come on, I want you to come sing at my wedding and blah, blah, blah. Him and D get Diane, I think his wife's name was, we go down there, sing, you know, blah, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. My wedding, no. Can't see him. But that was then, got divorced since then, mm -hmm. so hey. <laughs> but anyway, weren't worth it anyway. But anyway, you know, um, you know, so it's just them kind of things that, it just puts you off. There's things, that, there's obstacles that put in your way and, you know, but you've got to be strong to kind of override them because I, I had a little formula going on. We had a little formula because Hello Darling came out and he'd done very well, yeah. got into the pop charts and then we done a heartbeat, a tune, a, com a commercial tune called Heartbeat, similar yeah. kind of vein yeah. Yeah. like Hello Darling and he got to 56. He didn't quite make the top 40, oh, yeah. you know, and then all of a sudden Chris wants to do Panic Panic, which was like a five star kind of, because five star was going on at the yeah. time. You know what I mean? But me, what I really should have told him to do was F off. Yeah. I ain't doing that. Yeah. But you know me, I just go along and I said, oh, all right, then you're really serious? You think they were going to do that? So, of course, that came out and didn't do nothing. Yeah. And then after that now, it's all awful. It's your fault. I'm not interested in you no more. 
You know what I mean? It's all my, it's all my fault and it's your decision because all of a sudden you want to turn me into five star. Yeah. You know, which is not, which wasn't going to work. And it's funny though, even the other day, somebody actually contacted me for that tune. And, and I happened to have the 12 inch. I said, you know what, mate, you can have it. Me just get to him. Me just get to him. Me just get to him. Panic, panic. And I think that's what he did do. Panic, bloody panic. Because the tune panic and flopped all the way down to frigging, I don't know, the Thames. You know what I mean? But yeah, but I don't mind talking about them like that because they, you know, he, you know, they just like lost the plot because UK bubblers could have been something. That's massive, man. That, that, come on. That's what I'm saying. That, that could have been, that would have, yeah. you know what I'm saying, could have been, it would have yeah. been the foundation for yeah. everything up until yeah. this very day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. It could be, the things could massive. be going. Could have been going. Could have been going. Could have that champion on there, champion on the tune on there. Like, yeah, yeah. Like that. So everybody could yeah, have Yeah, there's Peter Spence and it be them young art, you know they were coming up at that time but Peter Spence is a great singer yes, so you, them guys can sing anything so you know if you got the, if, you, if he sent Peter Spence or even but you had the team you yeah, know you, you got Drumpton Ward he's a great drummer yeah, man, you got yeah, Horseman yeah. up here that can yeah. drum you got Black Steel you got this man you got a whole heap of different musicians them that are very good that are very tunes like what they done for even tunes what still done for a re were like if I gave my heart to you, yeah, yeah. John McLean, yeah. loads of Sandra Come Cross on, stuff, man. the coffee stuff. Come on. It's like there's talented people here mm -hmm. that can produce good quality reggae yes, music. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they just push it to the one side. And, and and the thing is you just done it out of the blue. Just everything you think everything's fine, then all of a sudden, oh I'm not doing that no more. So what? You mean, so we spent all of this time building this thing that, 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 and you just, oh, I'm, I'm not doing, sorry, I'm not doing that no more. And that's what he was like. Arsehole, you know what I mean? Man, yeah, so yeah. unfortunately, green sleeves, you know, and then, then in the end they just ended up selling the company and yeah. it is what it's now. I think it's with VP now or okay, yeah. somebody like that. But Yeah, that was a shame, man. That, that had the potential of, of being everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, but they're businessmen, you know, and, you know, people do what's best for them. It's like, you know, even like John Dubvender, nicest guy in the world. John's a lovely brother, you know, but they're businessmen. Yes. So if, if, if the shop now make money, then you leave, you close the shop yeah. and you, you move on to something where I make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just how it is, you yeah, know. Yeah. So yeah. me, because I just learned how it is now, I just got the suit of armour on. And I just don't get, you know, you can't get to, I don't know what's the word, you can't, you can't make them, make it depress you or, or you know. No, you have to just learn and move on from that's it. That's right. Still. And that's why I ended up with Hey Mama and, yes, and tunes with the Black Eyed Peas and yeah. things like that will come along. Because if you make these things over, some people let it over. You know, I've been through traumatic things solo yeah. in my life. Yes, things that would make people just close up and See. and no no one get just go to there and just cover up their head over the pillar yeah. and not come out. Yes, sir. You know, but you have to kind of just keep on punching yes, through. Yeah, yes, keep yes, punching yeah. through and go through. I remember the first time I heard the Hey Mama, you know. Yeah. I was at work. I was working hard, I was doing electrician at the time. Okay. And I'm um, on the site of this tune command. Yeah. Right, oh, a brand new one man players. I think it was Radio One or whatever like that. Yeah. I mean, his voice, I said, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like Tipper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like your voice is yeah. unmistakable. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's like, distinctive. Yeah, bro, I said, I'm looking at the radio, I'm like, nah, man, that's Tipper, man. Yeah. I'm telling you that's Tipper, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I finish work, I had to run and say, yo. Yeah, yeah, enough of them. Yeah, but it's it's the same thing again, you know. It's like yeah, I did an interview with Daddy Ernie. He's like, how did you manage to do that? How did you? It's like it's like you know. It's like it's like how did you manage to do that? It's like, bruv, I'm talented, bruv. <laughs> you know, bruv. You know what I mean? That's how I managed to do it, bruv. You know, basically. <laughs> It, you know, you know what I mean? The man's looking at you like, how did you, you do that? Do, how did you manage to what do, do you mean? that? I mean, how did I do that? I've always had it in me. Yeah, it's like, it's, but it goes back to what you're saying. It's like you have to, pro it's like you have to proving keep yourself proving again again yourself again, again, again. again. Come on. It's like, it's, it's like that, you know, but now I'm just telling it how it is. I don't care no more. 
and just talking the thing how it is. But you reach a certain age, you know, yeah. that's done with that still. Yeah, like. just, we just got to say how it is. And, uh, you know, it's like for me, I was working, I was, I was doing a show in San Diego. I was at the belly up this place. And there might have been 150 people in there. And this girl called Shelly. I did some work with her, with me and Half Pint. I think me and Half Pint done a couple of shows in California. And um, in fact, when 9-11 was on, okay. I was working with Half Pint. I was in San Diego. I remember I was in a hotel. And we, um, it happened and I came out of the hotel where everybody came down to the lobby. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm sitting in the hotel thinking, freaking hell, how am I going to get home now? Yeah. This looks like he's going to about to kick off, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, I was out in America, I was doing this show there, $7 to get in. And then um, she calls me, she goes, Tip, um, where are you? I said, I'm in San Diego, I've got a show here tonight. So she goes, oh, Will I Am wants you to do this tune, you know, he's got a tune for you. So I goes, oh, okay, so that sounds interesting, because they weren't big. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They were big underground hip hop, yes, the hip hop scene. They never had the international success yet. Mm. You know, so I said, oh, "Okay, cool, man." Because I know they were still doing things. You know what I mean? They were big under under underground. Yeah, I think it, they had like they, they was coming. You yeah, they like, were they, coming. They, yeah, because they, coming they had like a Dr Pepper ad, and yeah. they were they had little things yeah, going yeah, on. You know what I mean? Still, yeah. And um, anyway, so me just me just said, "All right." So I was staying in a place called Laverne. Uh, this guy, there's a band called Better Chemistry, and I work with. I've done a couple of songs with them. Nice people, Dave, Dave and Chad. Um, they live in a place called Laverne. Anyway, I was staying at Dave's house. I was just sleeping on his couch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we got check him, and he's got like a little um, rehearsal room. Okay. So sometimes when I go there and we work late, yeah. I just sleep in the studio yeah. or sleep on his couch. And anyway, so. I go, Dave, you got to take me down to L.A., man. So he goes, all right then. So he came to my show. We did the show, and then I left and stayed at his house. The next day, we drove up to L.A. I think it's called Glen, Glenwood or somewhere like that. In Glen, somewhere like that, anyway. Something Glen. And I went down to his studio. So I went to the studio, and he's got... There's a building, and there's a whole heap of little different production rooms okay. in the building. So I went in, and Fergie was sitting there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I goes, oh, nice girl. Mm-hmm. Anyway, she goes like, oh, because I'm Fergie. I goes, oh, okay, I'm Tipper. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. She goes, you, I goes, you just joined the band, innit? She goes, yeah. So I goes, oh, okay, cool. I'm here to listen to one of your tunes. So anyway, so I'm going to play, play the tune, you play the instrumental. And I goes, okay, sounds like a nice little dancehall tune. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I thought of something on the spot, but I thought, you know what, let me take it back to Dave's and just live I'm with it for the, day. and med- yeah, med- med- with it for the night. So that's what I did. I just lived with it and then I just come up with cutie cutie. Make sure you move your booty. Shake that thing in at the city I've seen. And hey, shorty, I know you want to party. And the way your body looking make me really feel naughty. I goes, that's it. Because them times that Ellie was going on. Yeah. Ellie, yeah, yeah, Ellie yeah, was yeah, going yeah, on yeah, at yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of that. So I kind of get them. So make me give them look at Ellie. Ellie vibe and, and mix it up and, and, and boom. So I just go back there. I just nick it out one time. And he was like, fucking hell. You know what I mean? Because he saw me, I think he saw me, I was working with this other guy called Motivate, yeah. who was a producer. I think he used to DJ sometimes for Will I Am. Okay. But he captured, captured me first. Okay. And Will I Am must have heard me. I got this tune called Every Day, where I'm talking about, you know, a lot of the artists there. My party is extraordinary. Everybody okay. in other place up here, see none of them now I rave with Tipper Irie. Anybody mm-hmm. where I rave them, Paul, like, I got one of that lyric anyway. I was giving him that lyric on a hip-hop beat. So Will I Am must have just hear the, the, the thing. I said, who the hell is that guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? And then Motivate was like, that's Tipper Irie, man, from England. He goes, haven't you heard of him? He goes, nah, but he's dope. So he goes, and he, so he, I think that was it. He said, one day I'm going to have something for you. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I said, all right. So and then he must have remembered. And remember them time, the Sean Paul, Wayne Wonder, 
was yeah. their tunes were in the charts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Letting so they wanted, yeah, yeah letting go on them it. tunes there. So they wanted a, um, a little Caribbean, yeah, I get that, flow there. that kind of flow. But there. they always um, want that kind of flow. Yeah, let's be honest. They always want it. They do. So anyway, <laughs> me just go in there, I me knock it out, couple of texts. Because, you know, you just rehearse, and it? So you got it down. So I just didn't sleep the night before. I just was rehearsing the tune, rehearsing the lyrics so that I didn't have to look on no paper or nothing. I just had it in my head. Yes, sir. So I just studied the tune. And, then, and, and that's another thing. That's another tip for you artists out there. You know, if you don't prepare, prepare to fail. I think that's the saying. You know, is that the saying, Kit? Failure to prepare is prepare. It's something like that, failing to prepare, preparing, something like that. Mm. So you gotta prepare. So me go in there, me knock it out, and, he, and he's a you know he's a talented dude. He's quick on the pro tools. He just book 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 book. What do you think of this tipper? And he just mixed it same time, done. And it was on the album. He said, "Don't worry, I'm gonna give you some money, and my manager's gonna call you, and we sort out the publishing." So he gave me twenty percent, which yeah. was cool, at yeah. the publishing. And because he done the track, obviously, and, yeah. and some of his lyrics, so he gave me 20% of the publishing, and boom, and he gave me a little, a nice little advance, and that was that, boom. And next thing, I just left it, and then I think I was at home. I was at home, them times I was living with the horrible wife, and, um, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I was at home, yeah. and I was living with the devil, and, um, and uh, <laughs> sorry, guys, but every time I think of it, yeah, yeah, I it, you, it just comes <laughs> out. It just got to come out, you know what I mean? Another ungrateful person, but we won't go into yeah, that. Let's, go hey, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it music. Um, yeah, um, I was at home. I was watching, I was chilling, and I just see this thing. And uh, no, I got a call because I couldn't have seen the video because I was in the video. Yeah, I was going to say you. Yeah, I was the in the video. Um, yeah, and I got a call and they said, Tip, you know, we want you to come to Hollywood. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's go to Hollywood. That's a nice call. <laughs> you know what That's I mean? That's a nice call still. Yeah, we want you to come, we're going to do the video. And we said, all right, cool. And then, you know, so you go, we get upon the plane, I'm in vibe up and ready and practice the tune and this and that. Then when we get there, the whole tune changed. Then take out this verse and that verse. <laughs> because I had to bring in the other two brothers. Yeah, um, of course, yeah. Um, what do you mean? Apple and Taboo. Nice guys. Them two were cool. They were cool still, you know. And um, anyway, they changed up the whole thing. But of course, you know, Hollywood, nobody tells me. You know what I mean? Because who am I? Same thing again. Who are you, know? Yeah. you know? You're just, you know, another act. But hey, whatever. But nobody tell you nothing. They don't tell you nothing. You just turn up. And, and so anyway, made the video. It came out. And it did what it did. It was huge. And um, I'm grateful, you know what I mean? I'm still grateful because obviously, you know, a tune like that, it's worldwide. Yeah. So, you know, you can, you know, it keeps you, you know, there's money always coming in from that. Yeah, man. But it was good and the tour was great. I did a tour with them as well. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it got nominated for a Grammy. So I went to the Grammys. That was okay. amazing. Okay. You know, I did the Grammy. I went there and, you know, Puff Daddy over there so and... I go on, I make trouble upon Fergie and Beyonce and over there so and, okay, and okay, I was okay. sitting I was sitting near to Twister and them guys okay, and, okay, and whatever. Okay. And um the guys them that done Let's Get It Started on their album. They yeah. there's a song of that tune, that Black yeah, Eyed Peas, yeah. they me was sitting together. Okay. I was sitting with them. But yeah, it got nominated, so I got my little Grammy thing on my nice. uh, my team, my nomination. So that was uh, you know, even them things there. You know, we don't mean anything to the people in over here, obviously. You know what I mean? Well, cause, like, when I say, I remember hearing it for the first time. Yeah. And then, and then once it started taking off and then I see the video and everything like that. You yeah. Know, I remember somebody saying to me, they were saying like, oh, that's a good look for Tipper. Yeah. And I know you just said that as well, but I didn't mm. see it like that at the time. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more like... It's a good look for them. It's a good look for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, I was like, I, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. honestly thought that. Yeah, I was yeah. like, no, yeah. good look for Tipper. I was like, who else was they going to call? Yeah. I don't business. If you got a yeah. tune, for me, at that time, if you got a tune like that and you want somebody to jump on it, on, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't see who else you're going to call. Unless you was going to go 
the, um, the yard style the yard, and, and yeah. call it Elephant Man. Man, yeah. I don't see who else you're going to call, you know, you know what I mean? So I was like... Well, it was a good... good well, it was good... Them. It was. It's it good turned look. out it to, a good, it was good look, look for me, but it was a good look for them because yeah. the tune was... You know, the tune... The, I added the the, the 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 finishing ingredients of what the tune needed. Yeah, man, it's definitely I gave a good it look. The tune. It's definitely a good look, and, and, and I'm glad, and, I, and, I, and I'm glad for you, obviously. But just at the time, yeah, I yeah, didn't, you know, more time when you, when yeah. you, if you hear a tune like that, especially them time there, yeah, or well, even now, if you hear a tune like that, you'll be you you say, what? Am I lucky to get that break there? You yeah, know? Yeah, but yeah. at the time, I was like, no, you're yeah. damn right, yeah, for God's Yeah, because like, even the guys, the guys, mean? them, the other two guys, they were more like. When they really, obviously, they checked me out, innit? Yeah. And they realised the volume of work, what I did before. And they were like, okay. Yeah. I'm happy for you. You know what I mean? They were like, yeah, you, you deserve. Yeah, Everything was happening for you right point, now. Like, you deserve. You that. deserve yeah. this to be happening for oh, you right now. That's exactly you know what I mean? Point. Because at the end of the day, because they actually saw... The volume of work, but it's like Hollywood, you know what I mean? Because Will, Will I am is cool, and then the next minute he's not cool, yeah, you know what I mean? And then you've got the business manager, he was all right, then you got the manager, the road manager, Polo was a nice guy, yeah. he was cool, you know, the Seth guy, he was the manager, he was a bit of a wanker, yeah. you know what I mean? And then the business manager was cool. And then obviously you got a production manager, you got all these managers, all managers. and they all play off of e each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, Will Will was all right. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm grateful for the actual bringing on the tune and what yeah. it done and what obviously what I've earned off of it and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But you know, a lot of the time, you know, they made a lot of promises. Yeah, we're gonna give you a deal. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Still waiting, Will. If you're watching, <laughs> still waiting for this deal that you promised me all of them years ago. Still, <laughs> I don't know if you remember. Yeah, you remember me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's all good. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, you know, you know me solo, man. I'm, 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 I'm from my fridge is full. You're doing a tick. I'm good. And the roof, and the roof ain't leaking. No, sir. The roof not leak and <laughs> the fridge man. full and everything. Can me have a little bug if you take me from here to B. I'm good. Yes, sir. So you I'm see, good. the next thing I want to mention to you now. Yes, sir. Is Malta. M the Malta Irie Weekend. <laughs> yes, sir. Before remember, we go. Uh, well, you know, we've got a little time to talk about this still. I remember a while ago, me and you having a conversation, and you said to yeah. me, you know something, Solo? It's time we start doing something for ourselves. Yeah, definitely. A man's riding on our back all of the time, yeah. pulling out our tail and not yeah, really yeah. giving us the yeah. recognition. Ooh, right. That's so, right. So it's time we start doing our, doing things for ourselves. And I remember that conversation. I said, like, "Yeah, I chew, you know, I chew, you know." And then, boom, the weekend. Well, yeah, you got to do it. I mean, this is the the Malta Irie weekend that what I'm doing here, and it's from the 22nd to the 25th of May. And it's in the beautiful island of Malta, a place called St. Paul's Bay. And um, it features Tipo Irie, um, my good friend Peter Huntingale, um, Top Cat, the weirder acts that are going to be performing live. Yeah. And then you have DJs like my good friend Calvin Francis, that's going to be playing some soul and R&B and a slice of reggae. Then you've got Jumpy Jack Frost for all the jungle and rear groove people, um, Rude Boy Monty, Peng Beats, they're going to be playing everything. Urban Chaos, Bit of Jungle. Keith's, Lawrence, More Soul, Boogie, Reggae Revival. Nice. And Lovers King, Roy Medallion. Yeah. Ras Fu is going to be playing Afro Beats. Yes, sir. You know, and Beautiful. I'm going to be DJing too, playing some soul cut oh, yeah. and everything. So it's a wide range of music. And uh, we've got a decent amount of people that's already paid and booked. Their seats. So if you go to www.motoririeweekender.com, I think they're going to put it in the description below. I'm going to let them do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can click on the website and check it out. And if don't fall out of your chair when you see the prices, it's value for money. Of it's, course it is. Yeah. It's it's a nice four star hotel. 
yeah so the hotel is nice then you're gonna have a nice little boat party which we're gonna have on a saturday leaving about lunchtime there's probably gonna be about 100 people hopefully on the boat you know so that's gonna be nice so we're gonna have people coming from England, but we're also going to have local people. So, so if you're watching and you live in Malta, you will be able to come to the event also. Um, you will be paying a more reduced rate because you're a local. Yeah. Um, but and then you got to travel so far. And then you got to travel. So <laughs> you know you're going to be you're going to be looked after if you live and you have an ID that proves that you're a Maltese resident, you can come to this event. But it's the Malta Irie Weekend. It's the 22nd of May to the 25th of May, 2020, this year. So come and check it out. Oh, we was reasoning about this as well, you know. It kind of it kind of makes sense if you're going to even throw in a couple extra days there. And then, yeah. you're gonna, and then, and then your flight is going to be cheaper. Yeah, it's, you your flight's going to be cheaper. So, so you can... Why not, why not go on a Thursday? Yeah, or... On a, on, on, on that's a Tuesday, right. Or on a Wednesday, Wednesday or something. You can spend a week. I would advise you to spend a week there because the place is beautiful. There's lots to see. Um, you can go on the open top buses as well and the buses are, are relatively cheap. The normal standard buses out there are nothing. But you, they do these, you know, the little tour buses, yeah. what they have with yeah. the open top roof, they got them going on. And they, when, you, when I book your shuttle, you will get that throwing in as well. So if you're recovering after the rave and you feel like you want to go and see oh, the island, yeah. you can go do that as well. Mm. So Malta Irie Weekend, that we now have stopped there, so check it out <laughs> I've forward. Never, I've never been there, but my sisters, my sisters and my mum went there on like a girl's trip. Okay. Like all of the women from the family. Okay. Went, you know what I mean? And they had a... And the kids and they stuff. loved you know, it. They had a great time there. They okay. said it's a beautiful place to. Yeah. So yeah, one more time. Yeah, Malta Ivy weekend. weekend. Uh, check it out, yeah. my people. But I love that king car. Yeah, we had that. Yeah, we have to. And we have to like, do you build your own thing. Yeah, we have to because you have to because everything. If you look at Outlook Festival and all these festivals, they started from somewhere. Of course. They started and now look where they are. Yeah. So we just have to have the same mentality, whereby we have to start things and do things. For yourself, rather than always be working for these people, yes, because they they want to pay, like you say, certain people yeah. x amount of money, and then they want to give us the little shekels. Yeah. But I'm tired of all of them things, so that's why I don't mind if they don't like me, and I don't mind who don't want to, re, you know, respect my. But I know my worth, mm -hmm. and now I'm just, you know, don't want to book me cool. I'll do my own. <laughs> Simple. And that's how it's going. That's how it's going on from that. now on. You know what? I pick up the flyer. I was everything was cool, you know. And then I see Rude Boy Monty on there, you know. Yeah. Wait, so you don't like Monty? No, man. Me and Monty is cool. Apart yeah. from he sent yeah. me some facey WhatsApp the other day after the after Man United lose again. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it just get me back on the football team. You I know what I mean? That. So, but, so what, I was all what's, happy what's, looking what, at the flyer. Like, What's Monty's team? He's Liverpool, isn't it? Oh God! So you can't talk to him. You can't even. <laughs> yeah. You can't even talk to him right but, you now. You know, Monty's one of them man. I know him for years. You know, playing okay. there for years yeah. and years. I mean, him don't talk regular at all. Okay. But if if I see his name pop up on my you phone, you know, it says I'm Man United. I know it's a football team. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't. We was it. talking. I like, I think it was two days ago. We was chatting, and you know, we was just talking. He was just telling me. He was just kind of giving me the same vibes, like yourself because yeah. obviously he's from he's a sound man and you know i remember the dub vendor deers and the this and the that and you know as a, another sound man and he was saying boy tip you don't realize what you guys did for us you know what i mean as a sound man and the respect and i said boy brother do you, you know, know do you know boy i don't know you, for me i just see as you know some it's only when you know you go to a christening or you go to a wedding, or you go, and the man them just come up to this like, bloody hell, tip, man, you don't realise what you lot done for us, you know, when we was growing up, it was all about Saxon, and, because Monty was saying, like, to him, Saxon was the best sound, and this and that, and, yeah. but, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't even realise it, it's only sometimes when they, when people express it to you. Yeah. To you, then you you kind of say you know what we really hard because you, you you was on the was in it yeah we you was, was on the was in it so you ain't yeah. really seen it you know what I mean but I can yeah. hear a story now now you yeah. know you said that now yeah yeah went to a dance in um in Tottenham that sound like a lyric said went to, to a, a dance, dance in that Tottenham it's and so did I play it in in black black woman center in Tottenham okay playing yeah yeah Coxon Saxon and Java. 
See? I'm sure that was a dance. Cox and Saxon job. Wow. But the thing about those dances there, yeah, is um, you'd be so excited to get in there. You know, because um, yeah. I can't explain. Like, you get in there, you know, there's a buzz. Everyone's outside, you know, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. buzz and you get in there and you get in there. And you look to see who's string up where, what sound is yeah, string yeah, up where. You know what I mean? Like, all yeah. right. So yeah. when the man I play, I'm going to stand uh, here. Yeah, when yeah. the man there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But them time there, so like, say you got to the dance 11, let's say, half 11 or something like that, yeah. The sound is playing, but the mic ain't switch on yet. Okay. And man, I'm just playing. So if you don't know, Saxon has, has a, had an army of MCs and, and yeah, singers, yeah, yeah, entertainers. Yeah, yeah. So you never really know who was going to be there. It wasn't guaranteed yeah, yeah, who was going to be, be there. there. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I mean. yeah. So you're in the dance and the sound and just playing and you're getting excited and they're playing too dub, but the mic ain't switch on you. <laughs> Cox and Payne, the mic ain't switch on you. You know what I mean? Boom. They stop playing. They hear the sound effects. Because I'm telling everyone had their own sound, sound effects. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So Saxon coming with their, their sound effects. And you hear Tiffa's voice. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yeah, and you know, like we say, your voice is very distinctive. distinctive yeah, From yeah. there, the dance busts. But, yeah. Because you already know. Yeah. You're like, rah, Tiffa's there. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The dance is going to yeah, be rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if Tiffa's there, yeah. nine out of ten Russies there. You get yeah. Me? Huh? Yeah, because we used to travel together. Yeah, so if Tiffa's there, nine out of ten Russi there. You know what I mean? It's very rare in Saxon, you know, in Kerner. Yeah, yeah. Differently, you know what I mean? So. You know, you just knew that there was a squad there. If Tiffa started, there's a squad in it. You know that there's a squad there. Yeah. So you're just excited from that moment. But most you know of the I mean? time, it's me used to start the proceedings. You mm. know what I mean? And it's even like that. If we link up now, it's still me to start there. the thing and, and bring everybody in and, you know what I mean? And go. But yeah, it's like them times there was nice, man. It was different, you know what I mean? Different in a sense whereby you go from town to town and you see the different the different vibes is still a different vibes in each town yes, sir. you know what i mean and if if we got birmingham like a place called oakland i don't know if you remember oakland mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i would be outside and then the, the girls then would see me and they'd start screaming you know what i mean or they'd be like what are you doing out here we're a couple i'm queuing up with the people <laughs> outside to see myself you know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. you know and it, it was crazy because it was like, you know, it was like Beatles, Beatles fucking mania. Come and see, time, yes, I, see I, I remember a video of you and, and Sweetie. Oh, yes. In, in, Birmingham. in Birmingham, yes. I remember that show. It looked like Beatles for true, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It was That's crazy. That's a girl at the front. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Sweetie, he was smart. The play. You were yeah, on first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, smart, it, it because me have the players. So, he, of course, he's got to come in. He's smart and he run on. When we have, when we have the place, yeah, yeah, running, yeah, my man run up, running. see you run up on his signal. He was smart, man. Yes, yes. yes. Comedy. I'd come with the, of course, <laughs> I'd come with the place. I think that man. was for PCRL. That was um that was yeah, the, the, the main regular, pirate regular station regular. in, yeah, in right. Birmingham. Yeah, yeah that was, those were nice. See, they're them downstairs. You can't, you can't buy them times there, man. It was nice, you know, and people used to just, you know, there was the odd little this and that, but there was no, it was just nice. Yeah, man. Nice vibes, nice vibes. Nice people, PCRL, them people there were nice. You know, I remember them guys, good, good people. So we used to just go well, and mash up the show. Don't, don't you think them time as well, the mindset was more community based anyway? Yeah. So everybody's trying to help everybody. Yeah. Because now it was more like, you know, if, the, if, you, if, if, you, if you saw you being troubled by the police, for instance, you would stop your car. Everybody would stop. You'd stop in the car. You'd stop your car and this and that. Nowadays, it's like, boy. Nah. It's every man for himself. It's every man for himself. You can't eat. It's, and so that... Don't even laugh at you. Yeah. Because the other day I was driving. In fact, it was on my road. I pulled out the car and I was cruising up the street. I am said, two youth. And they're going at it. Going at it. Going at it. And I was going to stop my car. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I ain't stopping my car. Better I'm going to call the police mm. and, and tell them, look, there's an incident going on now. You guys need to come there now. Because I don't know why this guy's on top of this guy. And there was two guys on top of one guy. And then they're there fight and this and that. And then there was a girl there watching. And I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So the next thing you know, I know one of my cousins then, we was playing in, in Liverpool. 
And one of my cousins, he came up, he drove up to, to watch us play in the carnival. And two Liverpool guys then were fighting. Yeah. And he, 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 he intervened and said, no, no, stop. And yeah. then they both turned around and killed him. So anytime I see any incidents like that, that comes straight to my mind. Yeah, yeah, so I thought yeah, to myself, yeah, yeah. you know what? Let me just go to the gym. Yeah. Because I did something I go. Me leave them, make them do what they might do. I'm going to call the police and tell them, look, there's an incident yeah. happening on this road. You need to get there now before somebody gets hurt. And I just left it at that. And then, you know, a couple of people at the gym, I told them what was happening. They said, you did the right thing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, at bro. the end of the you day, don't what's gonna you don't know what's going to happen. Next thing you know, they'll pull out a knife on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said the two men then turned on your cousin after you tried to break them up? Yeah, that, that was, yeah, that incident happened. I'll never forget that. And the, and the thing is, I've never been back to Liverpool. I don't even think I've been back to Liverpool to do a show since. I think I've got one coming up this year. Yeah. I've got a show, festival, the festival in Liverpool, yeah, yeah. I got um, with General Levy and yeah. Holly Cook and... Yeah. And um, I think Holly's on it, General or Joe Ariwa, mm. Neville Staples. I met him the other day, actually, at Johnny Laws's. I don't okay. know if you know Johnny Laws. He used to manage yeah. Mark Morrison. And um, Dred, he used to work at the Brixton Academy. Okay, okay. But I went to his funeral. He passed away okay. recently. So I went to his funeral and I met Neville Staples there. Okay. From the... Um, from the Johnny Tool. Yeah, that's a festival in Liverpool. That you know, yeah, you? I think it's called Positive Vibration. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's a festival happening. Well, I so I haven't been back terrible, to Liverpool man. since then. But yeah, but this is what I'm saying. You And I went to visit him in hospital. And he said, Tip, I don't feel good, man. The man them stabbed me. And all I was trying to do was part the, the fight. And as me reached back to London, me I forgot about him dead. Passed away. This the, the must have got his artery or something, man. He, and he died. So this is what I'm saying, you know. So anyway, but what was we talking about before that? Do you remember? Um, we said that um, we, we were talking about, I said them time there. It was more of a community people, base. It was a, it was a community yeah. thing. So if people's running a radio station, it's because they want, they're doing it for the community. That's and, right. And, That's and, right. And it, it wasn't so much selfish base. Self- you know I mean? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So when you met people them time there, then people was always very nice. Nice people. Yeah. They, they, they wanted everybody Everything, to come together. It was a unity right. thing. Yeah. Well, this well, is what we needed, isn't it? A, you know, and we need that thing. now more than ever, but. It's like, it's very distant now. Everything's distant. Everybody's for themselves yeah. kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know how you see it. but yeah, man, everyone's for themselves. It, it, you know, it's like that. And it's like, it's like that now. And like you said, there's a lot of these egos and mentality and, you know. But I don't care anymore. I just tell it how it is. If you don't, don't want to book me or if you don't like me or whatever... Because even the other day when I was doing this the tour with um, Rodigan, yeah, you know, and I I did oh, the, um, the orchestra orchestra thing. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. It was really yeah. good. I really enjoyed it, you know. But David, he had a, an arsehole working for him. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if you think I know Rodigan for like thirty five years, yeah, you know, and we've never had anything. Yeah, never had a crossword because of the mutual respect. Yes. He was one of the first people to give me the mic at Cat Whiskers okay. in Streatham. Okay. You know what I mean? We used to, when we was young, we used to go up to Cat Whiskers and he was used to play there with Papa okay. Face. Okay. So then, uh, you know, you just did it a weird, forget your chance, <laughs> forgot on the mic. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I did, you know? So he called me and me go up on the mic and mash up the place and because everybody was saying, give the mic to him, give the mic to him. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Because he, he's good, he's good. And we just did it and mash up the place. So we never had nothing. But anyway, I was on the tour and... um invited me to do the Royal Festival Hall yeah, yeah, yeah. and I flattened the place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody was doing like cover versions and stuff like that. And so I do, I done all the time the Lyrica Rhyme. Yeah. And then I did um, Heads Eye, yeah. Murder She Wrote yeah. and Zim Zima. Yeah. You know what I mean? And anyway, I flattened the thing and so they invited me to come on the tour. So I did the tour. I was doing, you know, I done Best of All and um, Love Save the Day in Bristol okay. and Somerset House mm-hmm. and whatever. And um, um, there was, so you had this road manager guy, some guy called Steve, I don't know if it's Steve Wright or something, whatever he was called. And the guy was just an, an, an arsehole, man. And I couldn't believe that, you know, this brother 
was doing, it's like he, he, you know, it's like he wanted to get me because I don't know if he was what jealous or he had a problem or whatever it was, mm. but it was like he's trying to draw me out then basically yeah, 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 to, yeah. to he, coming like he just wanted to get me off of the tour. You know what I mean? And all me I do is do my job, which is turn up, keep my head down, and mash up the place, place. <laughs> and leave quietly. And leave. <laughs> and leave quietly. I leave quietly. <laughs> and that's all I was doing. Solo, you know me, right? I'm a brother. If I, when I was working with the Black Eyed Peas, yeah. Yeah, I used to open for them. Yeah. Yeah? So whether we're playing, I've played at Glastonbury, yeah? yeah? And we went on before Paul McCartney. Yeah. Yeah, I've been on bef just before Britney Spears. Yeah. I've been on just before Mary J. Blige. Yeah. So we're talking about thousands of people. So if you go on the stage just before, if you're the act before Paul McCartney, you know that there's a hundred, there's sixty, seventy thousand people there. Yes, so you know, you know. So I used to go on, do my two tunes, yeah, and then I would introduce the Black Eyed Peas and yes. come off stage. Yeah. Yeah, and then they bring me back on, and, and then we do Hey Mama. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? And and do my thing. So, you know, so I know about being on time. Yeah. I know about if you don't make the bus, they're going to leave you. Yeah. And you have to make your own way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to this and that. So, for me, I'm a man, I just turn up. I know what the schedule is and this and that. From the road manager is on point. You have everything. And you, you keep your head down, you do your work, you collect your money, and you move. And that's how I, I tend to be, period. Mm -hmm. Because I have to steer my own ship. Because mm -hmm. when I've got my band, I've got my manager that takes care of certain things. But then I still have to coordinate the band, yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure everybody's on point. And we take two cars normally. I drive and, and um, Sean will drive and boom, we roll out. We go, we do our gig and we move. Mm. So I know how to play the game where mm. it comes to, and uh, if you're moving with 30 people and whatever. So I was always on time, you know, but it's like every things, and then all of a sudden, you know, you see the little bits of disrespect. Yeah. And then you're thinking, this guy is trying to draw me out, you yeah, know. What for? This, why, why are you doing that? Why you want to, you know, why you're trying to do that? It's not necessary. So, you know, anyway, the first one, quickly, yeah. is we go to Somerset House. So I done the Royal thing. That was nice. Yeah. Smash the place. Yeah, yeah, I see must place. love everything nice, everything cool. So they asked me to do the rest. So the first one, Somerset House. So I turn up at Somerset House. With my, I think I was coming from Doncaster. Okay. Yeah, I had a show up there with Peter Huntingale. Yeah. So, you a place like Somerset House, you can't make no noise there until six o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So I was coming from Doncaster. So I, so I called this guy. I said, "Yo, bro, um, you can't make no noise until six o'clock anyway." They wanted us to come to sound check at four. So I said, "I'm coming from Doncaster. I can't make that." But I'll be there by half past five because you're sound checking an orchestra. So that's 29 people. And I'm a vocalist. <laughs> yeah? So it's going to be a, it's gonna be a little while before they're ready for you. You know right. what I mean? So it's like, so I got there. So I'm on my way from my house now mm -hmm. with my two daughters mm -hmm. and my missus. And I said to them, well, look, I'll be there at half past five. So maybe quarter past five, I'm in the taxi. And he calls me. So he goes, where are you? I says, oh, well, I'm 10 minutes away. I told you I'll be there at half past five. You can't make no noise in the building. That means no drummer can't go t -t 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 -t. Yeah. No, no cello can't go no, yeah, 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 yeah. no bass man can't play nothing. You can't make no noise. So I'm five minutes away. So he's there on the phone. Oh, oh we needed you here. I said, bruv. I told you, I'm going to be there at 5.30. Mm. So anyway, I turn up to the, to the place and um, I get my passes and stuff for me and my two daughters. He's not there to meet me. Somebody else met me. So I get my two passes for me and my daughter and my missus and we go backstage and I put them in my room, in the room for the thing and that, yeah. blah, 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 blah. So then I go on the stage. So I'm standing at the side of the stage with Bitty McLean yeah. and um, 
Maverick Sabre yeah. was there and Maverick come up and he was like, goes, what's wrong? He goes, oh, oh no, just, just spread out. I think, I don't know what he must have said to Maverick, but it must have looked like him upset him too. Okay. But anyway, so me... So he was just on one, this brother was just on he one. He's just on one, man. This power, power trip. So anyway, me there at no half past five on the nose, me sit on there a bit, but I'm a bit all right. Cool, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Cool, I'm mm-hmm. cool, yeah, so they start sounding, checking everybody now. So, remember he wanted me there from four. Yeah. So at ten to seven now, I'm still, I'm still there at the side of the stage. Nothing ain't going on. Yeah. So I'm looking at him. He comes up now. Oh, you made it then. I said, oh, well, but I, I told Hold you. Hold on, wait. The man tell you you made it yeah. when he come to you at ten to seven. He, 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 came, he came up to the side of the stage before. Yeah. 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 Oh, you made it. And, uh, okay. uh, I said, yeah, brother, I told you I'll be here. I'm yeah. here now. You've just started sound. sound. Nobody hasn't sound checked yet. Yeah, it so this is a pointless conversation right now because, you know, everything's good. Everything's, everything's cool. Yeah. Anyway, so he, um, so 10 to 7 now. So remember, if I got there at 4, yeah, man. <laughs> 4, Five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. So why do you want me there three hours twiddling my thumbs doing what? But anyway, that's besides the point. I got there at half past five. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so ten to seven, I just said, I just, I went like that. I said, bro, you wanted to get me. You was telling that you need me here for four. It's seven o'clock now. So he rushes on the stage now to the conductor. Um, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do the art. It's, so anyway, so I go on the stage, finally, must have been what, quarter past seven now, whatever time it was. I've done my little sound check. So when I come off stage now, I see my missus, she goes, oh, you know that guy, he came and he took the passes away from the daughters, from my daughters and this and that. So straight away, obviously, you know, you see red, innit? it? You know? Because yeah, I'm thinking, that's, well, that's, that's, yeah. so I'm seeing red. So the first person I see now is Davis. I'm like, bruv. You know what? You see this guy that you got working for you, right? He's just taking the passes from my daughters, yeah? yeah? And if you don't bring them back, I'm going home, yeah? So David rushes off now. He comes back with him. And they're like, oh, but we said this and we said... I said, bruv, yeah? You wasn't there to meet me at the wheel call, so I got the passes for me and my two daughters. Yeah. They're not going to be troubling anybody. They're in the stage area. When the show starts, they'll go out at the front and watch the show. But in the meantime, they want to be with their dad. Yeah. Yeah? So what are we doing here? Are we doing it or are we not doing it? Yeah. So he has to walk and go and get humble pie now, take yeah. the tickets back yeah. and give them to my daughters. And, my do- and I said to my daughters, them, you know what? You lot just go around the front anyway. And then when the show finish, you come and you come and see and, and see me and, and then we can leave, you know. But so so straight away, I said, you know what, this brother has got a problem. And every show solo, the man uh, the man do something. Him do something. I understand you people, man. You know, and when I phoned Uncle Dave now, mm-hmm. Uncle Dave was like, Yeah, tip, I'm gonna sort it out, I'm gonna sort it out. And then he passes it on to his manager. And then the manager's contacting me like I, the bad person here, like I'm doing something wrong. And every show, I could, if, we, if, the, if the podcast was three hours, I could explain every event. Is, yeah, is, you, know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know, the, the, uh, so the last straw now hmm. was when we went to Spain. We did Rotatom. Yeah. So he, when I, I was, um, I flew out, I was in contact with him, we was going back and forth. But I had a show in Holland. Mm-hmm. I was doing a, a festival, a new, like a hair festival called the CAD Festival. Okay. My, my, um, my, one of my cousins was doing a hair show in, in, in Amsterdam. Okay. So she asked me to come and perform. Yeah, yeah. So I went, me and Victor V, yeah. we went out to Amsterdam okay. to do the show. So I said to this road man, I said, bruv, look, I'm going to be coming from Amsterdam. So what you do, just send me my boarding pass so that when I land at Gatwick, all I have to do is go straight to the gate. 
you know. So there was some people that were wanting me to do the Basque Country yeah. and some other shows in Spain because yeah. they heard I was going out there. Yeah. But nothing was confirmed. Yeah. So I said to this guy now, unless something is confirmed, I'll let you know. So my, my details might change. But unless I tell you otherwise, just book me like you're booking everybody else yeah. on the show. So anyway, I leave Amsterdam, get to Gatwick. Of course, he didn't send me mm -hmm. the boarding pass. So I go to the desk now, and the guy goes, oh, we can't find you, Mr. Henry. And I goes, well, it should be there, bruv. There's 29 of us, but obviously I was coming from another destination, so whatever. So he searched and he searched and he searched and he searched, and he finally found me. I think there was another Anthony Henry okay. on the thing, maybe, but something like that anyway. So anyway, me get the, the, the boarding thing, mm. but got through the lounge, you know, mm. and me see him, but me just play like me not see him. Mm -hmm because me no want to talk to him. So mm -hmm. me just go sit down and eat some food. And then when me reach at the gate now, he goes, oh, oh, you made it then? That's not like his favorite saying, isn't it? Oh, you made it then? I said, <laughs> bruv. He goes, oh, you don't look happy. I said, well, bruv, I told you to send me the boarding pass so that I don't, all you had to do was just email it to me, mate. And it, it would have saved anyway. Me got up on the plane, me do the shore, Mash up the shore, mm -hmm. as always. Back to the hotel, everybody back to the hotel. Me get up the next day. Me no says home time now. So me downstairs in the lobby, I talk to David, and me I talk to, Mosled came in, cause okay. Saxon was playing. And it's a long time I hadn't really talked to him. I haven't spoken to him in ages. So okay. me and him was get on myself, yeah. wow, all dark. Yeah, yeah. And blah, blah, blah. And me and him, I, I chat and so, cause what do you want to drink, Lloyd? So. I bought him an orange juice and we sit on there at talk. So the road manager comes over now. Remember, we're at the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And he's come over to me yeah. and said, we're leaving now. We're going to the airport. We're, everybody needs to get on the bus. I said, oh, okay, cool. That's a light. Nice to see you, brother. You know, I have a good show because I think he, he was spinning some tunes. So yeah. I said, have a good show. I said, Dave, nice to see you, mate. Thanks for the work. Blah, 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 blah. Because he was doing the, the sound system okay. stage as well. So me left now, me and Kika Bon, we yeah. go at the, um, the airport. We get, jump in at the car to get in at the bus together. And we sit down, me and Kiko are talk. Yeah. And we, you know, so I say goodbye to everybody that, was, that weren't coming with us. So we, get, we, we reach at the airport now. So when we reach at the airport, Kiko said, come tip, let's just go and check in. We don't need to wait on all of them lot. So I'm saying, all right, then, cool. So me and Kiko, go, Kiko, give him passport in, you know, fine. Me give my passport in. Oh, sorry, sir, you're not on this flight. So I said, what? He goes, no, you're not on this flight. I said, what do you mean I'm not on this flight? I'm then I see him coming now. So I said, the lady's saying that I'm not on the flight. What's wrong? What's happened? Oh, you told me um, that you wasn't going to... You, you wasn't going to be coming back with us or you was, on a, you was going to another show. So I said, well, if you knew that... Why did he come and move you from the bar in the, in the hotel? In the hotel, exactly. That Why doesn't make no sense. You, that doesn't make sense. Why did you come and take... If you thought that I was <laughs> leaving... Right, you understand that? what I'm saying? <laughs> if you thought that I had another gig... Yeah, why did right? he even move you from your why conversation? Why did you move me from the hotel? And furthermore... Where's that confirmation? Can you show me that confirmation that I told you I wasn't going to do anything else but what everybody else is doing? And everybody else is getting on their flight. So the brother from um, Outlook there, the, the brother where I conduct the orchestra, him come over, you know, I'm saying, bruv, can you see what's going on here? But they're all right, ain't they? Yeah, yeah, of course. So their business is sorted out. So him not really, him not really business with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They, but this is what I'm saying about these people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I say I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm telling it like it is. You know, this, it's just a disrespect. Mm -hmm. You know. So now he's got a phone. His boss now. Oh, um, um, yeah, we need. Uh, we, I didn't book um, Tipper's flight and da, da 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 da. So now I've got to go to Madrid from Valencia instead of just flying home. I've got to now fly to Madrid because he's got to get me a flight there and there mm -hmm. and then fly home, mm -hmm. you know. So 
my phone got again again. Hello, mate. Um, you, this is what's happened. Oh, well, why has he done that then? You know? So it's, and then, so then I get an email from his manager. Oh, you know, you said that you was going to do this and you said, I said, bruv, where's the email confirmation that you lot haven't shown me yet of, yeah, of, of you, this? Of me saying, of me that. saying that I'm going to do this and that. So I just said, bruv, you know what? I, I, for the, see, see, for Outlook, I need this, 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 and that. Because I'm not rolling with this brother. Yeah, because he's obviously got something in his bonnet. Yeah. Deal with me. So that's why I didn't do Outlook. Okay. They got Horseman to do it. Yeah, yeah, Horseman yeah. phoned me and said, tip. I said, Horseman, go and do your thing, bruv. Yeah, 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 Horseman yeah, yeah. phoned me and said, tip, they want me to do this thing. I said, brother, do your thing. Because he, he's got the same agent as Prince Fatty and, yeah. and the CM Gentleman Dub Club mm. bread at it. Yeah? So he, I said, Horsey, do your thing. Horsey's my drummer. He's a drummer in my band. But I ain't going to stop. If you phone me and say, Tip, um, they want me to... Bruv, knock yourself out. Mm. Do your thing. But me not nah, go. Because me know what the bread I do to me. So me mm. not nah, do it. Mm. So that's what happened. And then I just said, Cha, you know what? I don't need this. So I just said to them, I want this, that, 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 that. If you don't give me that, I'm not coming. So they didn't want to do it, and then that's when we party company. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, but it's like what I said, at 35 years, I know a Radigan, I mean, never have no problem with David, never. Mm. Still, I don't have a problem with him now. Mm. You know what I mean? But it just goes to shows. And then these brothers, we probably know for a year or two years, can come in. Get hype up, man. It's not position, necessary, but this is what I'm saying. And there's no need for him to call you out of the whole tent. Well, if you know that you, if you was told, see or that would have wild me up. So that would have wild me up. But that's what I'm saying. Is, is, is you're running games. You're playing games with me. Then that's, that's not right. even a genuine, genuine mistake. Mistake. A no. genuine mistake. He would have left you in the hotel. That's right. He would have got on the bus with everybody else. Who that's need right. To get on the bus and left. That's, you. that's right. Because him feels safe. Because he feels that like you're I'm sorted. Going, I'm sorted. That, so you know, it's just a blatant. Disrespect, but these are the kind of things that you gotta go through in the music, yeah. and then people wonder why. You know, they might see, oh, Tip was done this, and this, but this is why. You know, I've been with artists, them, and like I said to you, and they ain't got no time for you, and then you go on the stage and you mash up the place, and then all of a sudden, them, them remember your name, yes, or them my, know you. My, I, I, I see so many things. I learn so much I'm from being, being in this position now to go and do this thing. Yeah. I see so many things that I didn't even believe existed. Yeah, you know? because when you're looking at it from the outside, you're just like, yeah, bro, well, that's a, yeah. a wonderful world, and no, that ev- no, backstage no, everything no, must be wonderful and. Yeah, have the artists them where where come and want all people to ransom. Them agree a price with the promoter, and then what is that? Them turn up. And them see the place full, or them see an opportunity where them feel them can take advantage of the person. And, also and, more money. and they want more money. Yeah, and, and then they, they hold the people them to ransom. And then just to get maybe a thousand more euros or, you know, a couple of hundred more euros, you're holding the people them to ransom. So there's all kind of things that go on and, and all it does is leave a bad taste in people's mouth and leave a bad reflection on the business and leave a bad legacy legacy and leave a bad one you know yeah I mean? and people want to be wrong and strong yeah because if if i can be a friend of somebody i'll see you as a friend for 35 years yeah. i mean me and you never have nothing yeah. you know but then there's a lot of artists that you love their music but you don't want to meet the person trust yeah, you understand what I'm saying, bro? You know, there's a lot of artists just love their music, just love their music, but you don't want to meet the person, person because and, and, and it's made me sometimes. You know, there's a couple of times where, you know, I might have messed up because of past experience. You know, yeah. and it's like you know you can you've been treated a certain way by certain artists, yeah, and then you meet some other artists that you respect and whatever, but you pull back. Yeah, because of... All, because of, of what I've... What's happened before, you know, yeah. and I've done that before. You know what I mean? It happened to me in America with a certain artist, and I just said, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to... You know, if you, if you know me, you must know who I am. If you don't know who I am, cool. 
yeah. you know. But yeah. sometimes you want to go and say hello. Yeah. But there's a couple of times, even when I went to Jam Rock Cruise and there's all but artists there. But the Jam Rock Cruise with, the, with me, Papa Levi, Muslet and... Um, a Mikey Bob stick yeah. off and do it. Well, yeah. But uh, we were lucky that, that year because we got two cruises. Nice. That was the year they done two cruises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. a couple of artists on there and you go over this one introduced. They're just like. Yeah. And you just think to yourself, I ain't doing that again. You know what I mean? I'm not making that mistake again. Yeah, I've had that still, you know. Me and a man, we fly, we fly into North Italy, you know. I think we fly into Rome, you know. Well, my flight landed. Uh, so then we're waiting for this next artist to land here you now. Mm. Admittedly, I don't know, he must have had a nightmare flight. <laughs> so he's in a bad mood. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yard artist still, yeah? But boom. Mm. We're in the same car and we got a three hour drive. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So I see the man. Yes, King. I said, all right. Let me give my little wife to calm down. Yeah, maybe he's yeah, yeah. on a flight. So yeah, yeah, in the car, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the car, again, try to make a conversation with the man. The man that he just called me up. Nothing. Just called me up. Like he more or less put his hand in my face. Face, like, I said. Called me up <laughs> like that. You know? I like saying not talk to me. I that like that. I was just like, I'm like, okay. All yeah. right. And, and I had a lot of love for this artist. So yeah. Music, yeah. Well, you know yeah, yeah. yeah well, there you go. And then, and then the killer blow was. That, um, so I said, all right, let me just lower him then. If he's not in the yeah. mood, then let me yeah. just lower him then. Yeah. So then the driver's driving, and the driver goes, put, driver puts on the air con. It was high, it was summertime. The driver puts the air con on, mm. and he says to the whole car, does anybody mind the air, mind the air con mm. on? You know what I mean? So I'm like, no. I don't really mm. do the air con enough. You yeah. know how the man them feel, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't really like the air con. I prefer open the window. Window, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. That mash up my chop. This man back here, no, nah, man. Switch off the bomb, but God, air con, you know? You must think I'm one of them foreign artists. You know them foreign artists there? And while he's saying it, he's looking at me, I'm throwing his hand like this. You know them foreign artists, they will love air con. And I want to them, you know? Me and them is not the same thing, you know? Me and them are... So the man was hanging with me in the car, you know. You know what well, I mean? Yeah. Sing one of his songs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Me and yeah, them yeah, foreign right artists, they were in a child. I said to the driver, you heard me say that I didn't want it, innit? Yeah. So I don't know which foreign artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what foreign artist you're talking Looking about. about. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to talk? That's all right. Let me just know this king, you know what I mean? Yeah. Know this and so from that day, then we buck him up a few times after that. And I've even been with, with, with other people who's his friend, and they're like, Why oh, you don't deal with that man? I said, No, okay, he never angered me right. Yeah, and they're looking at me like, Yeah, I'm in the wrong, wrong, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not running over, yeah, yeah, no. to, to, to kiss his backside, no, you know no, what I mean? I'm big no. friend from him, I ain't begging yeah, no, no friend, friend from him after no. he deal with me like that, like that, yeah. No, no, well, this is, well, this is what I'm saying, it's like I'm for me, the show as well, you know, Chris. After yeah, that, so. He, he was on stage, and then we was like, like we had the sound afterwards, but it's all one arena, you know what I mean? So he do his thing, and it was all right, innit? it? But funnily enough, everybody was there for the sound thing. Scene. Like it was me and Mongols. Scene, scene, yes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's there for, yeah, for, yeah. for that, you know yeah, what I mean? And yeah, they yeah. want to hear my tune there with Mongols, and yeah, yeah, they're yeah. much at the place yeah, more yeah. than he, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, And every yeah. time I get a forward, I was like, what up? Foreign artists, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And the man vexed. Yeah. Because this time he's standing behind me now, because he want a piece of the action now. Yeah, 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 got to, yeah. So he must have come off the stage, and then he see the sound of Guan. Guan, yeah. Mash up the place. So he come around there, because he want to get a piece of the action. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. boom, and then he sees me. Yeah. And then he realised what, you remember yeah. all of this. All the thing where he met me, yeah, God, yeah. I don't even know how to approach him. Right, man, now. Because me had a master of ceremony. I'm like, wait. Yeah, foreign artist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's like me, you know, I love, I try to show respect to everybody. I don't want to disrespect nobody. Everybody's got their talent. Everybody's got their, their thing, what they're good at. You know what I mean? Any, any individual, whether we, you know, I'm an MC, you're an MC, you know, we, we make music. You know, a man might be a carpenter, a man might be a doctor. Everybody's got their thing where mm. they do. You know what I mean? So I try to treat people 
respect with respect no matter who you are you give you give where you get where you get to, it's like that brother they know why am I for behave like that what for why why you need you know but this is what I'm saying and it just all it does is just ref, leave a bad taste in people's mouth you know what I mean and it's, it's just the respect them don't have no respect and but sometimes you know, I've done it. I, you know, I've, I've, I, you know, I hold my hand up. That time in America, I didn't want to approach this artist yeah. because of how one of him, see him brethren them, or wherever, handled me. So I said, you know what? No, nah, I'll just, I'll just stay in the crowd yeah. and that, watch that, the show. That's what made me even think of that story there because exactly that. Since that time there, I've been yeah. a lot more reserved. And yeah, I think that's been detrimental to me. At the same, yeah, it affects same you because yeah, and 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 so I'm being like yeah. pulling back, and it affects and sometimes you. people might see that as stand it affects or you. Like that it's one stuff, of you know, you know another artist. You know, um, we was on we was flying to reggae jam or somewhere like that, and the whole I did it, and you know we are fly the same place. Cause me's an artist, you know, you me know you know who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we was on the same label. We've had tunes out on the same label. Yeah. So I know you know who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then they don't, they don't want to say hello. So my officer, brethren, a blah, 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 you know, you all right? <laughs> we all are going to the same place, you know. <laughs> you know, you good? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 man. I'm like, all right, all right cool. We go to this festival, we mash up the festival. Brethren, we want to come on my show, you know. Come pan, come in pan. You know, all of a sudden now, we're good enough to come on your show. Yeah. And at the airport, if I didn't say hello to you... Oh, like, no. Oh, now you wouldn't have said nothing. So this is what we are... And then it's... What I don't understand is that you're on stage. They're preaching the love and the righteousness and the this and the that. And you know, I lived a life the way you preach, Bridget. <laughs> That's another story now. <laughs> Never get me started on this. <laughs> you know, them now nah, live the life where them, the, the, you, 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 you say you are Russ, or you say you are Orthodox, or you say you are Naya Bingi, and you this and you that, and re, 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 re. And you know, I lived a life the Bridget. You know, live the life there. You pull up outside McDonald's. And what happened? Mm. You don't know how them fry them, them fry the things them in I see a mile in a bridge. You know, not supposed to. I pull up outside there, so. You understand me? So, you know what I mean? And, and this is what makes the, gives the music a bad name and, and makes it difficult for somebody to use them that's coming through and make it difficult for the artists, them that have got their shit together, that have got, that do have integrity. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And that, and that are the key word, have integrity. Because me would have never this nobody just because so I then, can. So then you, you don't find then. So what happens is then <clears throat> that when, when you are how you are, or, and we are how we are, and we show integrity and manners and everything there, yeah. the, the, these certain like promoters or other people who's just backstage yeah. then feel that they could take liberties. Yeah, 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 for real. Because if you're not ignorant, that's right. <laughs> yeah. We must be yeah. able to walk over, over you. you know yeah, well, like, well, don't well, don't this... make that mistake, brother. That's because well, I tell you how long. How? That's yeah, because yeah. I want to deal with this thing professionally. professionally but don't yeah. think you're going to walk but over But sometimes you, that's how they roll. That's how they roll. You know, if you find the people, them, me see certain artists, throw a mic in a crowd, mash up backstage, do the most things, and they're still getting work. Brother, you just remind me a story. I'm going to talk it, you know. Yeah. Boomtown, you know. Yeah. Is it last Boomtown? Yeah. Is it last Boomtown? Yeah. Alba Rosie, blood. Yeah. The man was vexed. I took a picture with him backstage that yes. day. So I remember I was there. Yeah, the I, wasn't, was... I wasn't there with, with the antics and whatever went down, but... <laughs> I heard that he went, he went, he went, he, he threw a wobbler. He threw a wobbler, yeah, but what's, what's funny about it, yeah. <laughs> So I don't know what the I don't know what the road manager was doing. Basically, I don't know what the tour manager was doing. Really, because if you know that you're supposed to be on the stage to sound check at this time, yeah, I don't understand why it's taking half an hour. So the half an hour, you know, it's quick change around. And yeah, 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 yeah. You know it's, I mean? it's line check, and it? it's just a line check. I like no, the drummer can't reach. 
and it's getting to stage show time now, and the drummer ain't reached the sound check yet. You understand know what I mean? So the, the one of them, so I don't know what the road manager was doing, but anyway, the band dragged their foot to get on stage to do the sound check. So by the time they finished sound check, they're eating into their stage time. And the man is, and, and, and I heard the production stuff. At, at, um, Boomtown. At, yeah. I heard them saying to the man, to the road manager, listen, get your people, you know, because we can't run late. <laughs> we can't run late and we have the big headliner coming behind you I yeah. don't think we're gonna we're not gonna cut the big headliner no, no, for, time yeah, 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 for yeah, your yeah. time you understand yeah, yeah, so yeah. get your people we'll together get right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. boom they go on late so the thing the, 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 the set time is shorter, shorter yeah Alba Rose is vex yeah vex 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 the man come off the stage vex he take the microphone and he dash the microphone and that was a my youth Ross, my my youth from the production goes up, boom, and catch the mic. <laughs> <laughs> he catch it. He catch it. That's the only thing I wanted to say. You know? Yeah, yeah, story. yeah. It's all right. Man, the mic. Man, man goes up, boom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I catch I it. I like, we, yeah. I wasn't laughing at it. I know the yeah. vexation. You know what it's yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, because you, you probably wanted to do the thing, but it's your, you've got your staff. Yeah, the man, your staff. Get your staff, get, get your staff in order. Because that. Because the man even nearly done that to me at Hooting Annie the other day. The show that you come to the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I was switching off the thing and I ain't even done old ragamuffin yet. Last year was going to be old ragamuffin. Ragamuffin, yeah. Man, I, I switched off the song. Say, now your time done. I was like, whoa. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, well, better turn on, <laughs> turn that back on now. No, wow. You know what I mean? But so you know, you get the frustration in it if you don't get the complete. But this set. is what so I'm you, saying. You're probably saving a big yeah, tune for the end. Yeah, to the end. You don't get yeah, to do your big yeah, tune that yeah. you're promoting at the time. But you see, like but that. but this is what I'm you saying. It's again, it's a level of respecting. Yes, you're not just turn off the thing. It must say, I forgot to find somebody for, to, for, for get a message to you and say, well, yeah, you know what, the there's X amount of time left. And then you might have drop one of the other tunes yeah, then to do that tune. Yeah, if a man that to me, if a man come and say, yo, 10 minutes left, and I'll be like, right, okay. Yeah. All right, don't worry about that one, the next one. Yeah. Or I would have pulled up yeah, that that's one right. move on. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Well, it is, it's, the, it's the music thing, man. There's all, I mean, I don't feel no way to talk about things what happen because it's yeah. life experiences, what we've experienced. Yes, and then sometimes people see some things and then they see you comment about certain things yeah. and they wonder why boy i wonder what where why people comment about this or why this, why you do that why did no i don't know that person but some people they portray a certain way but then when you meet them and how they treat their fans that support them yes, sir. and love them you know what i mean it's just not nice they're not nice people yeah. you know it's like that so wait a second it's money run out I thought, I thought that the money in the meter around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I yeah. think we're kind of there still, you know what I mean? We get a lot of stuff there, a lot of stuff. Yeah. But yes, remember. You want more gossip, Remember, <laughs> remember um, Malta Irie Weekender and link up tipperirie.com. Um, I'm in Luton. If this podcast goes out before the 1st of February, I will, you can catch me in Luton, all right? I'm going to be down there. Just go to my Facebook page or the website. All the information is on there. You see, you have enough shows coming in still, isn't it? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still. coming. It, it's, um, it's gathering momentum. Yeah. Um, I am, I think I got Luton on the 1st of February. Then I'm in Belgium. Yeah. I'm doing a festival in Belgium with pressure, pressure oh. bus pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on I'm one day. Flying, yeah, it's Tipper Irie and Friends. Yeah. So I got some... I got Roger Robin, Winsome yeah, yeah. and Pete Arningale oh, is with me on that festival. And then I have I'm in Cavos yeah. in May um, with um, Ras Kwame. Okay. And uh, Kofi. Yeah. Kofi's on the bill and and Judy Love, you know the comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, yeah, on there yeah, yeah. as well. And uh, whole whole host of DJs. Nice. Too many to mention. Nice. So I'm doing Cavos, and then that's after that is the Malta, um, in May, and then I'm at Positive Vibes yeah. with um, General Levy and them guys yeah. um, for uh, in Liverpool. I'm doing that. I am doing the Bournemouth Weekender. I think that is on the 6th, it might be the 6th of June, but you can check the website. Bournemouth Weekend, and I'm doing Preston, Preston Carnival. Yeah, 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 well, we're doing Oh, Preston we're doing Carnival. that. Yeah, 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 okay. We're doing that. Yeah, 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 so yeah. So, did, did you find out what day you're doing? No, 
I don't know which one. I've got it on the fire, but I can't get it off of my head. But yeah, but we're doing Preston Carnival. Um, they was trying to get me in Grimsby, but Grimsby money now work. Can't work for the team, you know. <laughs> Can't work. Are you out there with the band at Well, yeah, well, what I was supposed to... No, I think it's a PA thing, you know. Yeah. Sound thing. Yeah, I was supposed to do Positive Vibration and then do Grinsby the next day. Okay. But it's just... The budget is just not, not great. It. It's yeah. not making it, so I can't do it. I can't make it. I got... The, when you got Premier League people, you have to give them Premier League money. Well, Semi insane. money. <laughs> so... You know, uh, it's what they're worth, you know what I mean? And I, I like to give them, you know, something decent, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's hard yeah. to com accommodate these little towns sometimes, you know what mm. I mean? I want to go to Grimsby. I've never been, I don't even think I've ever been to Grimsby I've never before. Been to that place, uh, yeah. And um, yeah, but it can't really work for what she wants to do. She wants to fall nine yards. And if you want that, you're going to have to pay. You have to pay the full nine yards, so it's just that. But yeah, so there's I'm back in Reading yeah. in December. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they've yeah, they put me back on the bill because I damaged the place last year. So you mash up the, you mash place, up the place, so they they wouldn't call me back. The guy called me Tipper, boy, you mash up the place. Everyone at top, boy, sure. Uh, can you come back? So I say, yeah, put put some gravy. Put some gravy upon the thing. The season, you know what I mean? Some gravy, and he, and he did one and two broccoli, broccoli on the side, yeah, you know, side, you know what I <laughs> mean? Like a sweet, sweet corn. corn. <laughs> yeah. So he done that. So I'm going back. I'm going back there in December. December the 19th. I'm mm, ready. Nice. Uni you read in university. Yeah, you so, said the venue's nice. It's very like nice, man. I like that place. That must be a new venue. I don't yeah. think it's the same. The one that I, that I remember, I think they mm. said that um, it's a different one. No, it's nice. It's, a it's one. nice, it's nice, nice venue. They've got different halls. Yeah. Um, but the, the main hall is nice. Nice, nice place. And it's got, it's got the artists are on like a balcony and stuff. And then downstairs is the main hall and the stage. Nice lighting and everything. You got a favorite venue? Ah, hmm, venue, that's a good one, that's difficult, um, you know what I like to play, I like to play The Hideaway, okay, in Streatham, okay, I really like that venue, okay. I just like the intimacy, it's yeah. up close and personal, about 200, 300 people, yeah, and you know, when I did one night there, I sold it out, I sold out one night, and then the other night was kind of, maybe three quarters full, okay. but, um, yeah, I like that place. Okay. I like that. I like the intimacy at the yeah. Hideaway. Yeah. Jazz Cafe. Jazz Cafe is okay. Yeah. But I prefer the Hideaway okay. to the Jazz Cafe. Um, big venues. Mm. I don't really like Brixton Academy that much. It's okay. all right. But yeah. um, the Kentish Town one is not too bad. Okay. The Apollo. Yeah. Hammersmith Apollo is quite yeah. nice. You know what I mean? I played there a couple See. of times over the years. But... See. Yeah, so you know, I'm not, I'm not really, no, I never really thought about that really, <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> venues are venue. First of all, I've that question. So. Yeah, yeah, there's venues that you like, but, you but there's, yeah, there's ones that you like that you always get a good Yeah, one. but I like the hideaway. I like, the, I like doing intimate shows with yeah. my band, yeah. you know, and you can really, you know, communicate with the people when it's up close and personal. And you know, it's a great show, the show that I come to in, um, in Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah, the Simmer Down. Yeah. Simmer Down, yeah, 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 yeah. That was nice because yeah, yeah. it was small, it was intimate. It was intimate. It was yeah, a nice yeah. little place though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Unusual. The grass, the grass area right there. Yeah, where, where you, you can, can go and out. chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that was nice, the Simmer you know, it was Down. It nice, man. But you was, you was so entertaining because like you say, it's, it's a, a small crowd. So you yeah. was basically, the man was basically having a conversation with everybody in the room and I mean, yo, you know what I mean? It was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just nice. You know yeah, you got to do. Night. You got to draw them in, innit? it's yeah. That's how I try to do it. You know, you try to enjoy them in, whether it's a big crowd or a small, intimate crowd. You know, but you know, it's, it's solo is just going back to what you said, though. It's no, it's what we're. They're not. They're not paying the UK artists what they're worth, really. Mm. And it's and it's a shame. You know what I mean? Because you know, and the thing is with us, we would do favors for these people when they're just coming up. You know, when their festivals are small, they, they, we do favours for them. Yeah. We charge them, you know, we give them good rates and whatever. And then when they're established now and they're getting the 60 and the, the, the 60,000 people, they forget and then they give the money to the other people. 
that weren't there. I still got you on the, on the mates right on, on the mates that right. you gave them when they, they were started. Well, that's right. And this is why I probably, they don't, you won't see me on a lot of them now, because I ain't doing it no more. Because if, you know, why should you give one man 20 grand and then you want to come and give me a couple of grand? Mm -hmm. How does that work? Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, I can't do it no more. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'd rather say, you know what, if you don't have the budget there, then you'll stay where you're there. Sure, you go and pay them, uh, pay them the money. I ain't doing it no more. I hate I'm, I'm, and I'm so happy that I'm cool. I don't have to. I don't have to rely on them people to well, survive. For your work, you get paid like we talking you know That man saying, I don't have to rely on them people to survive. Yes, and that's why I'm not doing it no more. You know what I mean? Because if you think about it, I mean, even just for instance, somebody like Supercat, yeah. you know, he was at Boomtown last year. How much you reckon they paid him? It wasn't a couple of grand, yeah. you know. And I saw the show, yeah. and it was just a show. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't nothing that... Maccabee didn't do, mm -hmm. or Sola Banton couldn't do, or what mm -hmm. Tip Irie could do, or what an X Man could do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Vintage artists, classic artists, but showmanship wise, mm -hmm. it's not the super cat that we used to know. Yes, sir. So that's, and that's just one, that's just one person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I know how much their man they get for sure. <laughs> but if, if the, and then they want to call me. And give me some shekels. It's not happening. I'm not doing it no more. So if they if when them call me, when they not call me, come correct. Yeah? Or don't call my phone. It's alright, I'm good. Uno can leave me out. Yeah, you know, can left me out because what happened, that's what happens when you go to gym before you come come yeah. and leave me in the black. <laughs> He's <laughs> got all them things they're pumping, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, but it's this... But, but it's your arm them look big though, you know, kid. I sit no, there looking at you, look at the size of his arm them. No, man, but Bretrin, it's not even that. I'm swimming, man. I'm eating the swimming. God, God, doing my swimming. God. But it's like, but you know what? Sometimes them things frustrate me so low. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it goes back to what you were saying, you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, that's just one example. You know what I mean? It's, and to me, it's a disrespect thing because we're doing, we do, you know, my man call and you do them mates rates and this and that and where, 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 and you, you do you help them out. You know what I mean? And then you're paying headliners 150 grand or whatever it is you're paying them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then UK All Stars come and do it mm -hmm. and you want to give man some little monkey thing and, and then you're going on like you're doing us some favor. Nah, I'm tired of it, bro. And I don't, you know, I'm, I'm just saying it how it is. So if me not get no booking, I swear it go. Because I mean, there's too much, there's too much festivals. There's too much, too much countries. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's too much. So like, going on, there's a lot going on out there. Yeah, there's too much, there's too much countries. There's too much festivals. There's so much. You know what I mean? And then it's the, the other one I, I don't like as well is these, a lot of these bloody carnival people and these people, they're getting funding. And you ask them for a decent little wage and it's like, oh, 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 oh my God. It's like, why? You're getting the funding. You're getting money from the Arts Council to do these one things. Time, I, I can't, I see a carnival catch us out one time with the sound, you know. <clears throat> yeah. we, was playing, we was playing the carnival. They said to us, you've got to bring your own power. <laughs> so you have to bring your own power. We bring our own marquee. Basically, they never gave us nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they wanted us to play, but they never gave us nothing. nothing. We paid to, and we paid to go and do it. Yeah. The same year, High Wickham Carnival said that they wanted us. I said, okay. What's the deal? Okay, well, we're gonna give you a generator, we give you a marquee, we're gonna feed you, we're gonna <laughs> drink you as much drink as you, you want, rare tete, -te, and we'll pay you X amount, rare tete. -te. So I'm like, hold on, how high we can carnival yeah. can do yeah, all of that. that yeah. And this big old carnival around here this, telling me yeah, yeah. I gotta pay for yeah, everything that's right. can't like I that's see right. running Because job, yeah, man. because no, because then we'll put the money in and then pack it. Yeah, it's just exactly what Because it's not a, just about a money thing, but it's just principle mm. you know you know they're calling you we want a headliner so they go to tipper com and then say tipper i work mm -hmm. you know oh god yeah tipper oh tipper's got a few yeah maybe we can get tipper Irie. you know and then i'm tired of the grammy nominated this and your grammy this and that 
but no one no, give me Grammy nominated money. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's the thing is why they're calling you and say they want you to be a headliner. He said they're giving you Bammy money, not Grammy money. But. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, I'm tired of it no more. Don't tell me no. I don't want to hear no stories no more. And this and that, I'm not interested. You know what I mean? Because it frustrates me. Because one man can come and he might get 10 grand, he might turn up and he might get 10 G. And then you have Reggae Rose, Mr. Williams, this one, that one, this one, that one, and Mr. Williams, did it and the man did it. And where them appear them? Where them appear, pay brother culture, where them appear pay solar bantan, where them appear pay tipa, where them shekels and one man turn up and him get 10 grand for play for an hour and gone in my yard. That's why certain people don't play with certain people because they're not playing with them because they know that this man I got to take everything and then them want to give you the shekels and you can't really wrong them. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why for me, you know, I'm sorry. Me all right. Me do my little show them. Me nice. Me do me, and they cool and and it, it fluctuates. Certain certain festivals you get X amount. Certain shows you get X amount. And at the end of the month, it make a it make a decent yes, um, yeah, and yeah. and the bills them can And, pay. Pay, and that's it. But some you know what well, I can't you know I can't do it no more. And I'm not doing it no more. So when these festivals call me. Come correct when you're calling my phone because I know I don't care who you are. I can stand up with them artists, whether it be Beanie Man, Caperton, whoever it is. I can stand up with them. From I got my band and my team, me know say me I leave an imprint upon the audience. Where the man go say respect me, respect the artist there. Me you know what I mean? One hundred percent. Yeah. So me I 100%. I respect every artist and their thing and this and that. But why them want to treat them? Different to what them would treat Maccabee or treat me or treat you and Top Cat. And there's some good caliber artists here, you know what I mean, that, have, that can deliver <coughs> to show them. And I prove it every time I go to Reggae Jam. Every time. Them not have no time for we. Certain of them press there. <coughs> them not have no time for we. But when we go up on the stage and we deliver, them can do nothing but acknowledge and show respect because we deliver. And that's why Sheriff have me on the show. Some of them, some of them, and all them, them, them now call we. Mm. You know what I mean? They be called flavor at the moment, or this and that. But that's why I like reggae jam, Sheriff, because him, him draw for different yeah, yeah, abstract yeah, yeah, yeah. artists. Him now just put the whoever flavor at the month at the time. You know? Now I vouch for that. There's no, there's no festival you could go and see, and see a, 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 a array of artists. And can't and say you're gonna forget a tip of Irish show. You ain't gonna forget that because mm. this man come on after where you ain't yeah, gonna yeah. forget that. Cause your your imprint is solid, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think I'll call it a day though, you know, brother. All right, my brother. It's always a pleasure talking yes, to you, man. man as I respect, see, you, know, you know, we just tell it how it is, and you know, <laughs> you know, only like it, bite it, you know. You so you it tip so it though, yeah, but what I love about Tipper is is um. A, a man with all of these accolades and, and these things, they always got time for everybody. Anytime I listen to you, you teach me something. You yes, know what man. I mean? And I know I can yeah. phone you anytime. Yes, and man. And I can phone you and say, Tiffa, hey, what happened? This man tell me this, you know, what do you think about that? And, yeah. and, and, you, and you would give me your opinion yeah. and them things. That's it. Yeah. So I love that. Because enough people don't want to pass on no. the knowledge. Enough no, no. They don't. And they don't, want, you know I mean? they don't want help nobody. They don't want it. And if, if a man have a look at thing over in a California, for instance, and him have him look a circuit over there, so. Him know why you come in, they come, come in by him circuit. Him not go give you a little helping and for bring you in and make you come eat some food. You know, but if you're there and you're passing through yeah. and he's got a show yeah. and him can say, come in, Solar Bantan. Yeah. And you come help him mash up for him show and then him pat you on the back and say, great show, boy. Thanks for coming through, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. One love. Yeah. You know, reggae music. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Then that's cool. That's good. But the minute you say to him, brethren, make we do a, a tour yeah, together now. Yeah, make yeah. we do a thing together. And, and, he must be, and he's thinking, well, and boy, I might, have to, Ray, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I might have to share a bit of my food with this. No, sir. I'm not bring you in. I'm not do that, Rasta. Mm. It's not doing it. I've, you know, you bring in people, you help, this and that. And then I've seen it, you know. And then they're coming to your patch now. And they want some help. And feed them sure. And then all of a sudden, 
boy, brethren, you know what? I'm coming to blah, blah, you know? And um, you want to see me? Why you come, come in? You, you can't come. You're available. Just come in and just come in and... No. Because when you're over so, and me need you for help me... Yeah, you couldn't see it. You know, help me. You couldn't hear it. But when you come mom, and through a patch now, you want me to help you, I'm busy, brethren. I'm busy. You know what I mean? But me no mind help, but is help me, help you. Yeah, of course. Each one, teach mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. It help each other. Mm-hmm. It's not a one-sided thing. Mm-hmm. Me call you, or you call me. Mm-hmm. Yes, brethren. Brethren. <laughs> Who are mm? And then, me call you. Boy, I have to talk to my manager, you know. Yeah. You have to talk to, boy, you have to talk to chemists, you know. You can't talk, you can't talk to you well, right now. Right, man. Yeah, well, you have to talk to chemists. Yeah, yeah, you understand? And, and, I've, and I've experienced that also. And the youths, them, you need to know this, man. You need to learn how it go. Is you help me, I help you. You do for me, I do for you. It's not me do for you, and then you do for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of them, they don't see. When they're calling you, you're there and you spend all day, you're there them video shoot, you this, you spend your own money, you do this, that, 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 then they don't even use the video. And then the next thing you know, them boy, you think you look up and talk, boy, Bridget, come on tour with me, man. Come on tour with me. I've only got X, Y, Z. All right, then. I did for you. No problem. I did for you. But then, Bridget, look, I'm keeping a show. What's the deal? Yeah. Boy, you got to talk to my manager, you know. But yet still, you can come to me and ask me to come on tour with you and you pay me a couple hundred quid yeah. and I do it. And then when I need you now as a collective to come and help me, I need to no, speak no, to your no, manager no, or, no, or is, is, you're not interested. And this is what I'm. This is the type of things that you have to experience, or that you experience, experience it, in the music team. I like to learn a lesson, then, because I know. All right, then. Yeah, and then now, now I know where. where yeah, where and then and now, that relationship yeah, exists, and then you know now I, mean? I just stand off. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I'm good, so I don't really need what you're doing. I don't care how much arenas you're selling out, or because I'm all right, Jack. Mm-hmm. So you know, and I've made myself that way. Yes, sir. I've had to work 35 years yes. of hard work on sound. There's thousands of cassettes. Yeah. Thousands, not hundreds, thousands of cassettes that my voice is on. That's going into a dance, picking up the mic and DJing from fucking 10 o'clock till morning. Mm-hmm. And you're on the sound and you're DJing and you're past mic and you're this. And then after that, you have to lift out the box them out of the dance. Enough of them, they ain't had the, to they go had through. They schooling and training. They, they ain't had them I mean? training. They ain't had to live. They ain't even read, ridden in the fucking back of a van from <laughs> frigging South London to, 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 to Bradford. Sitting in the scoop, you know. In the scoop, you know yeah, they, yeah. Like, yeah. Sitting inside <laughs> the scoop, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's the only way you And Prius had the driver, <laughs> not, not stone. Yeah. Uh, the man not smoked too much weed the <laughs> night before and him, and him, and him half key. Yeah, so these are the trainings that we've had to go through. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you know, so when it's the same thing what you said, when you're, you're nice and you're polite, mm-hmm. sometimes I wonder if it makes sense to mm-hmm. be that way because yeah. they just take the piss. Yeah. People take the that, piss. We're not going to change that, though. Well, no, it's going to be nice, but as, yeah. soon as, see, as soon as I see you taking the piss, I'm going to be like, left. Oh, oh, you got confused. <laughs> Can you see me smiling? <laughs> You thought I was one of them yeah. brothers, isn't it? Nah, don't try yeah. that, fam. But I I'm just really tell it how it is, me. man. And, you know, at the end of the day, me not have no bad feelings for nobody. Me love the whole I know. But if he's trying to take the piss, I'm going to tell you you're taking the piss. And then I'm going to take away myself. It's simple. Me take away myself. Is, yeah, we just take away yourself. Too. Take away yourself, so lot. With a minute, take away yourself. Because you don't want the heartache. You don't want the depression. Yes, sir. You don't want... Just take for yourself. So that's what I do. I just keep away. You know what I mean? People, them, they come, they use you, and then the next thing you know, you don't see them. Some when I had my studio in Croydon, there were people 
come in there from left, right, and center. They come on your rhythms, they voice your rhythms, you this, you that, you did that, and then they don't, then there's voice your rhythm, them, and you, and you have them, and them not do nothing. Mm. They don't do nothing. They not, and then you not see them again. Mm. It's, it's the same, a lot of them. So now, I look out for number one. And who not like it, I saw it go. I'm sorry. You said that, but I don't think you really like that. <laughs> you, you, I think, I think you, you look out for people who's like-minded like you. you know yeah, I mean? well... I never forget, even the other day again, we go back to mm. Bricks and then, no, this story sweet me, you know. Yeah. My sister, my sister was at the show, and she said, yeah. hey, I can't believe it. I said, what? <laughs> Tip I report one of your CDs. <laughs> <laughs> That's called supporting, <laughs> darling. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I can't believe it. I said, what? I said, Tipper Harry brought one of you. Oh, CD. <laughs> I said, I saw Tipper steal man. She said, no, that's Tipper Harry. Harry. <laughs> I don't think he brought a T-shirt as well. well <laughs> Kemi, in fact, Kemi gave me a T-shirt. You see? Wait, wait, wait. When Tipper comes to your show and buys a CD, you made it. Yeah, you were saying that. You were saying that. <laughs> you said that as well, yeah. So I was just telling the story of my sister. You were like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, man, for real. Well, so you, you but did this it, is you know what I mean? I know, like, I know, but, I know, but, I know what you're saying. Saying, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, brother, like it's like that. you, you know, I, 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 you got to support people. You know, I support nowadays if I like a tune, because I play out sometimes, you know what I mean? And I, I like DJing as well, you know what I mean? Like, same like yourself, you know what I mean? I'd love to play, spin to a DJ set at Boomtown or yeah. whatever, but them can't afford me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll make that clear. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just joking. But I'd like to do a DJ set at Boomtown yeah. and all of that lot. But it's like, you know, I forgot what I was going to say now. But yeah, the, you know, the music, brother. Are you saying that um, yeah, if you, you hear a tune that you like, you're going to buy it? Yeah, go and buy it. it. Like, I go and buy it, man. I'll spend me 79 pence. It's 79p. You know, and I have no excuse. Back in the day, we used to spend two fifty, four fifty for a twelve inch. Let me ask you a question: Do you still, do you give DJ promos? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I do. I I so, I mean, really, they should just. It's seventy nine pence. So really, they should support and and go and buy it. But I do some, and sometimes it's like a natural reaction. Now I don't even think about it. If somebody asks me for a tune. I just if and it's and they're a DJ. I just forward it. Yeah. I just send it to them yeah, yeah. because at the end of the day, it's exposure. So I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, and they're a DJ. If I know they're on the air, I'll give them. I'll send them a tune. But really, they should buy it. Seventy nine pence. Mm-hmm. And if you like something, go support they're it. So nice. like me, me, me. Come on, you're sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my brethren. Come on, you're sure. Me, you, they not the same business as me. Mm-hmm. So me have to buy your album. Me have to support you. Yeah, because how we well, otherwise? How are we gonna? How is it gonna work? Yeah, man, real, you know. How is it gonna work, innit? It's real enough. Because you start, you start, you start, you start. Tip was real, <laughs> man. Yeah, because Kemi said, give me I'm so no brethren. Now buy that. Because you need to we need to support each other because it's not gonna happen otherwise, and that's the problem. And that's why the great tip of Irie gets a stamp. <laughs> we call it the old ragamuffin stamp. stamp. Anybody who right. come here, they they they, they, they old ragamuffin stamp. See stamp. So you see him? New album, go and get it. Who uh, <laughs> goes there? Yeah. Original. Respect, Two Bless, for Irie. Yeah. One love, one love, one Good love. Good times, brother. Yeah, no problem. Love.